Hi. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. My peach voice ain't great. Peachy. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Super Player is gonna cover that for me. <laughs> but yeah, we're here doing a Super Princess Peach Any Percent. I am so excited to get to showcase this. It is my first ever speed game. One I've put a lot of love into. I've seen so much. Watch the game like as a speed game grow from the ground up, and I'm super excited to showcase it. So, are we ready for a countdown? Yeah. Uh, ready? I can do it. Yeah. Yeah, I can do it. All right. Three, two, one, go! And let's go. So we are uh, welcome in the Mushroom Kingdom, uh, and this time, of course, uh, Peach has been kid. Wait, no. It's Peach that is actually played. So yeah, of course, uh, this, in this game we're going to, be, to play Peach. And Peach is going to save Mario and the kingdom from all the emotions uh, that has been sent away through the world. Uh, Bowser has told the magic wand, that uh, the emotion ones, that uh, actually makes every character and every people in the world uh, angry, sad, uh, joyful or calm. Um, as, it, as you can see, there's like a few emotions we can use in the game. Uh, the first one is that is really useful is the cry one. Uh, the cry one makes you go faster, Xander. Yes, uh, it does. And it actually creates a lot of lags, but <laughs> fortunately, it's worth using it. At some point, some place we're not gonna use it because, as you can see, there's a vibe, uh, vibe jauge we have, and uh, we're gonna like have to manage it a lot in this run. Um, here we are using the joy that makes us, us fly because yes, <laughs> it's obvious that when you're happy, you are so light that you can fly. Honestly, I've tried it like every day. That's how I get to work every day. I just put a big smile on, soaring through the sky. Uh, if that's not how you commute, you're doing it wrong. I, I mean, that's, that just, just means you love your work. Right? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> But yeah, uh, slopes in the game are pretty interesting to use as well uh, because as you could see, um, the slope makes you go really, really, really fast uh, and you can maintain the speed uh, by... Oh, oh I don't want to turn up. Yeah, we'll explain about this later. But you, if, you, if you're going to maintain your speed uh, after a slide, uh, you can just maintain uh, down on the D-pad and you just have more time to just uh, jump and keep the speed. Yep. So uh, our goal is to do little bunny hops to maintain our momentum and doing a little slide tackle when you first land sort of helps maintain that momentum so you have a wider range to do that jump. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can see there's so much gloom vibe we use in this. I like to think of this as the saddest speed run out there. <laughs> yeah, so uh, as you just saw, uh, Xander Ooh. can also uh, Take enemy in his uh, in, in in Perry. That Perry is uh, just right us, uh, right with us. Uh, maybe you can see him because it's uh, in an iPhone in, in white. But anyway, uh, <laughs> which is the the umbrella. Uh, and if you eat enemies inside uh, Perry, you can actually um, regain uh, some vibe energy. And here you just saw the the roulette. <laughs> uh, at the end of every stage, uh, there's like this. Uh, how would you say that? I'd say I call it the, the goal ring, and it's got like yeah. mushrooms, flowers, turnips, and stars. Yeah. Depending on which one you get, you get a different... Um, Amount of coins. Exactly. And yeah. our, our goal is we're actually going to go to the shop twice during the run to do a couple of purchases to help the run go faster. So you see our our weapon of choice is Perry the Parasol. Yeah. You know, what, what, what does what what's the standard power-up that comes with any umbrella? Uh, I don't know. Floating? Yeah, that costs two hundred dollars. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> what? I'm not gonna pay you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, in the game, it costs you uh, a ton of dollars, and you need to have like this kind of money to actually buy it. And because it's so useful, and it can also maintain speed, uh, we're gonna have to actually buy it pretty quickly in the run. And more than that, we're going to actually go to the tea shop as well to get some tea, <laughs> vibe tea. That will make uh, have fifty percent more of uh, the vibe Josh. Actually, mm -hmm. oh, that uh, star is great. So actually, there's a chance that I got fifty coins there. Anytime we get a star, there's a chance it can turn into a peach and give us seven hundred seventy-seven coins instead. Jackpot. Uh, yep, exactly. And so the first shop visit, we want two hundred coins for the float umbrella power up. The second, oops, second shop visit, we want seven hundred fifty coins, and we'll be getting that 
in World Four, typically. Yeah. And we'll get the yeah we get the 200 coins as we enter World Two, hopefully. Which I'm at 181, so we're on great pace for that. So the move set of Peach is quite enormous uh, for these kind of games because, as you can see, that we can uh, actually take enemies with us. Uh, this is going to be useful for a lot of stuff like. Uh, Taking a shell to actually activate a, um, uh, an input or uh, an, uh, a switch or anything. Uh, to actually kill and hit enemies to regain uh, the Joge bar, the vibe, the vibe, the vibe Joge, and everything. Like, it, it helps with everything. And here there's a small mini game where you have to remember the order of the flower and just uh, destroy them in the right order. Uh, in this uh, next section, there's gonna be like, uh, I think it's uh, yeah blue, purple, red, red, blue. And there's a cycle you have to get uh, in order to be fast. So here, small quick turnaround. Here, slide. Get that, they got that hit, uh, and we go. catch this platform and just fly right up. Yeah. And with that, we're going to have the second cycle uh, after that. Uh, like the first cycle, but there's the second part where you can have a bad cycle uh, platforms, which is this one. So we're going to get the red one over there and get up right here immediately and just fly right, right up. Yeah, right fly up. If you don't get the cycle, you're gonna use a lot more vibe, and it could be troublesome. Yeah, no. yeah. Might have been able to jump that instead, but yeah, we're basically I'm gonna take this. You're on. too slow. I'm moving. Come on. <laughs> And this is the basically the end of the stage. So each world has six uh, stages. In reality, there's eight, but uh, it's uh, ng plus content. Uh, but for for now, there's six Ooh. stages. Oh, perfectly. Love those fish when yeah. they behave. <laughs> Th those fish jump whenever they feel like they can be the worst enemies. Yeah. They were behaving today. I mean, they were already uh, a pain uh, in, pr in the previous games. Oh yeah. Previous more games, but yep. there still is. Uh, on Super Princess Peach, but yeah, uh, like I said, six levels, uh, so there's five normal levels and then uh, special levels, uh, which is um, the boss fights, but but with the boss fight, we are going to have a um, kind of mini games um, before that, uh, and here is just like the jumping, uh, jumping Joe stuff. Yeah, so <laughs> one of my favorite things about this game is it's a DS game and it is proud of it. The DS has a touch screen, we're touching the touch screen. The DS has a mic, we're using the microphone. Yeah. When we get to do the mini game showcase later, it's that's where it's really gonna get to shine. I'll show one of the mini games uses the microphone there. Um, some sunshine runners out there may be familiar with who we're facing off with here. Yeah, it's uh, pity. So here we're just taking damage. Uh, the reason why we take damage, it's actually faster than just like uh, cancel the animation. Uh, because when we take damage, uh, actually we don't have the animation of the uh, the emotion that goes away. So it saves like about half a second around sure. that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. It adds up with how many times we do it throughout the run, for yeah. sure. Whoop. A little closer. Yeah, you don't, yeah, don't get it. Whoop. <coughs> oh, one, yeah. one thing we can point about the gloom vibe. Um, so any vibe when you turn it on drains that gauge in the top left corner, that yellow meter. Anytime we're using Gloom, if we stand still or if we're in the air, it drains slower. Yeah. So you'll actually see when I'm running with the Gloom vibe, I'm going to be constantly hopping, and that's going to just let me use my Gloom vibe longer so I can run further. And here, from behind. And one last point. Nice. And that's World 1. Yeah. So you've seen that we have, like, uh, kind of... Help the toad? Yeah, save the toad. Yeah, uh, every level, so every boss has a toad. Yeah, and every stage, uh, normal stage, like one to five, has three toads in total in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, We're supposed to save every single one of them to get to the final boss. Yeah, it's meant Shoot, I've been missing them. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, boy. How do you? Uh, how are you going to back know, up we'll, that? We'll, 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 I'll do it later. It's fine. We'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah, but th this game doesn't tell you that you have to collect all the toads to actually finish the game, but don't worry. No, it, it does. Just just read the manual that comes in the case. People the, still read those, right? The man... The, what? what? I, 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 I remember not having the manual when I <laughs> bought the game. <laughs> <laughs> Games don't even come with manuals anymore. So this uh, toad is actually mandatory. Uh, we have to actually mm -hmm. uh, kick the box yep. out, of the, uh, out of our way uh, to path. Yeah, he, he got captured smartly. He knew. Yeah, he knew he was. <laughs> <laughs> he knew what he was doing. The game is not really hard in terms of casual gameplay, but because of the toads, it could be really troublesome at some point. 
so here, uh, stage uh, two one cleared. Yep, um, and going into two dash two, we got ourselves our first auto scroller. I think we can uh, pass it over to scan me for a bit here. Yeah, we can. Like we have time to heal. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, we've had a few donations come in. Um, we had a $50 donation come in from Novomancy, who says ESA is doing great work for us watching at home and for Make-A-Wish. Thank you for all of the time, effort, and love that goes into it. No, thank you for your donation, and thank you for picking up one of our ESA winter shirts. We've had a $40 donation come in from Vermilion Lux uh, with no comment, but they also picked up one of our ESA winter shirts and a $40 donation from Cron Burgundy, who says, always excited for ESA and happy to donate for a good cause. And they took the evil route and went for a Goosebert shirt. Yeah, the Goosebert, the Goosebert shirt is really amazing. <laughs> but this is a level that really showcases the uh, slopes really nicely. Like, I'm going to avoid using Gloom because it takes time to turn it off and on, plus it drains my gauge. Yeah, and on the next section, we're going to need to have actually Gloom because... It's a really uh, flat, long stage. Yeah, room. so... You'll see, I think it's the next section. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the next section is really pretty long. So we're going to use it at this point because like there's nothing else to do a, a part mm -hmm. except for using it. Mm -hmm. And on the other nice thing about the Gloom vibe, we can just tank through these blocks, just yeah. knock them right down. Yeah, if not, we, ha we would have to like uh, go and do the slide kick animation, which is slow at some, at, at some mm -hmm. point due to too, too many times. And yeah, uh, this was uh, the, this level, so no need to actually save this toad. So, mm -hmm. like, like you saw, like, the toads are actually in... <laughs> some of them are really literally in our path. But because... Oh, yeah. <laughs> but because it actually, like, take time to free them, we're not gonna do it. it, it do it. So. Um, so this next... So this world is actually about plants and stuff. Um... Yeah, honestly, throughout, the, one of the things I like about this game is you'll see a lot of familiar faces um, throughout, like the enemies we see, the bosses we see. It like showcases a lot of enemies across all of the Mario games we see. We already saw Super Mario Sunshine earlier. There's some Super Mario World enemies, some Yoshi's Yoshi's Island enemies. Yeah. I believe there's actually some uh, cut data of the Koopalings were going to be in this game at one point. They even were animated and everything. But unfortunately, they did not make it into the game. Or fortunately, if you're getting tired of them, they show up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. I, for one, am a fan. I'm curious if anyone in chat wants to say who their favorite Koopaling is. I am uh, a fan of fan of Lemmy myself. I like the uh, the rainbow patterns he's got going on. I like Lemmy. But I, I'm I, I, when I when I let my, my my hair grew a little bit more, I more look like uh, Ludwig von Witt, von Witt, von Witt, von Witt, von <laughs> Ludwig von Beethoven. Uh, which, pff, like that, or something like that. Yeah. Okay, oh, this next room. Um, really cool trick coming up here. Hopefully I don't screw it up. Another yep. auto-scroller. So basically in this game, auto-scrollers are really long. Oh, wait, no, hang on. Yeah, you're going to you have to restart it. I'm going to take off my gloves for this. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it's going to be better. Yep. <gasps> there's, <gasps> hand, there's hand behind. Okay, here we go. You're shocked? <laughs> 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 I got my nails done pink, so it's still peachy. You it's do okay. have pink nail varnish. It's yeah. fantastic. So basically what's going to happen is that we're going to take damage off the, the screen. And now the screen is actually like freeze in this animation because we're supposed to have taken damage and voided. But because we actually stop the animation, stop the scrolling by the animation and when we get hit, the, anima the, the, the scrolling is supposed to be like restart. But because there we just, go. just stop the animation, we just like can do it all by heart. So it's not seeing anything and it can still manage to remember how to jump, where to jump, how how much to jump also because there's a, like you can, you, you have like multiple high of jumps depending on how much you press the A button. So it's actually pretty cool. You see here a small I like this one. A small, small trick. Get a big yeet! Yeet! <laughs> so if he keeps down, you can keep it. Oh, unfortunate. Oh. Fish. Fish are nasty. Yeah. Fish are nasty. That's why I don't eat fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I eat them to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I let them alone. I just, <laughs> just ignore them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, this next room coming up, there is a trampoline that I'm going to tease a little trick that's going to be a huge deal oh, yeah, coming true, up ahead. True. So anytime you use a trampoline, it can translate your horizontal momentum into vertical. So I'm going to use Gloom to go faster and gain... Well, Not this hang time. on. <laughs> I'm going to use Gloom to gain extra height and make it all the way up to there and fall anyway. But you get uh, the idea. Hang on. So here's an example of 
by management. I realize I'm low. This is just a good demonstration. I figured this would be a great time to do it. <laughs> you know? But yeah, so I can't use the gloom and joy I would have otherwise been able to do because it would run out. And you know what? I was going to get a turn up probably, so I just got nine more coins because I took that extra time. It was yeah, totally that, worth it. That's true. That's 10% true. interest. More. Exactly. <laughs> So the two five of this game of this world, like it's actually pretty pretty tough one. There's like a s in here, like there's a small jump you can do. Oh, there perfectly it is. done! Nice. Uh, it's actually like kind of pixel perfect. It's really tight. It's like it's not, it's, maybe not, but it's it looks cool. Tight. I swear it's pi it's definitely frame pixel perfect. Everything. It's yeah. super hard. Only I can do it. <laughs> really? I no, no, I did it. <laughs> 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 but yeah, um, not to mention that you are like uh, the second best runner and I think mm -hmm. one of the best runner of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, you held it the world record for a few times mm -hmm. uh, and multiple times uh, at the time. Yep. Uh, it's just that uh, we just want to say hey to uh, Rud, to Zerudik, he, who is supposedly uh, commentating the, the run in French, yeah. the French stream. Honestly, in general, shout out to all the restreams that are. Um, Streaming the, the ESA marathon in the different languages. Y'all yeah. are amazing to be able to showcase this to like the widest audience possible. So thank you so much for your work. Will we see the peach? No. Oh, Not sure. this time. Yeah. The peach is really unlikely to get, but uh, if you get two peaches in the first wall, uh, then you can skip one shopping, which is um, insanely fast. So right. here, the second minigame, you have to... Uh, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. <laughs> Uh, basically, we have to wait here and then uh, not to get hit because if you get hit, you have to go back all the way. Uh, oh my god. Uh. You have to go back all the way to the first to the beginning of the set, which I think maybe Scanny would want to have a little uh, speaking right now. Oh, I'd love to. Oh, I always it. love to speak. Thank you so much. <laughs> We've had a $25 donation from Loz Player 89 who says, Go, Xander, go! Love to see you on stage. Your dedication to this game over the years has been insanely admirable. Best of luck. We've also had a hundred dollar donation come in from Ivy who says, Go, bestie, go! Congrats on getting Princess Peach speedrun recognition. Thank you to ESA. No, thank you to you, Ivy. Enjoy your Goosebut shirt. So this fight is actually pretty. Oh, sad. That one should be enough, right? Yeah, probably. Be fine. Yeah, so RNG is miserable on boss fights. Whenever we use a lot of vibe, like, we have to rely on the boss to drop vibe for us to refill. I've had runs die because I just don't get vibe drops from those from the eggs. Yeah, it loses a lot of time because here you need we need to there's no platform anymore. Mm -hmm. We need to actually use vibes to actually uh, get on top of the boss because there's like kind of two phases on each bosses. Uh, basically, you have like the the first three hits, which are going to be like the presentation of the mechanic of the bosses, and then you're gonna have the second and last hits where you have like something else that's going to change mm -hmm. and you have to adapt yourself to, to the boss fight. And mm -hmm. here, uh, you saw that uh, Xander didn't have to, at the beginning of the fight, uh, to go on top of his head. Um, actually, parry the, parry the parasol is actually pretty, pretty strong. If you hit with the, the grabbing animation a bosses or an enemy, it can hit him as well, which is really strong and we're gonna use that a lot in the run. Uh, but anyway, we are in the mansion. In the mansion. Not in the dimension. In the mansion. I, I know my English is not perfect. It's gonna be. In dimension. <laughs> <laughs> in, di in the mansion. In the mansion. Yeah, in z Right. Uh, yeah, I think we're with you. <laughs> <laughs> so here there's a small like uh, cycle you can get here. Yep. Perfectly done. Uh, All right. You have to not mess up the, just the movement at the beginning, but yeah. Uh, and the best uh, minigame, uh, like kind of minigame like sections. Uh, the music is just a banger. Yeah, people in my stream should know if I say, let's go! I love that music. It's... Oh, why does this game is, isn't, like, well known in the, in the world? Like, this is the best game. You can slide on candy bars? <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway. I've um, never seen a better mechanic in a game. <laughs> never. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so the mansion is like the the boo house's uh, uh, how to say that cartel. <laughs> uh, basically, you're gonna see a lot of ghosts yep. in this world, and uh, there's a fish and boo from Super Mario World there. Yeah, and you will see the boss is uh, also from Sunshine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically, 
Yeah, I like how the run before us, Mario Kart DS, had like a similar feature of like, you know, they had King bob -omb, there was a bully from Mario 64, so it yeah. seems like DS was the era of... Super Mario 64 yeah. and uh, DS of... Uh, yeah, showing off all those enemies yeah. across the, the Mario universe. All right, we got a little puzzle, you want to call it here. There's four torches in the four corners of the room. I'm just going to run back and forth. I intentionally hopped over that one vibe crystal to refill my meter. I'm going to grab it on my way back here. As I mentioned before, anytime I gloom, I'm hopping to help have the meter drain a little bit slower. And then after I light this last one, I'm also going to damage boost out of the vibe with the spikes. Yeah. Uh, basically, Xander uh, um, is actually like uh, changing emotions from emotions and not going back straight to the, f to the to the neutral because you'll see that when he goes to neutral, like he did uh, for the calm animation, uh, for the calm uh, uh, yeah, emotion, he just like wastes a lot of time here. Pressing oh, no. L <clears throat> LR uh, sh make you s make you f make you actually walk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Peach can walk. Amazing. Like Instead there's of just running. Yeah. It, I mean, there's a button for walking. <laughs> and actually, if you don't walk on these platforms, uh, they immediately, in two frames, they just disappear. So here's small damage boost here. Bunk. To actually avoid to go back to the neutral, uh, uh, neutral emotion. <laughs> I like this vertical room, just hop, 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 hop. Yeah. <laughs> All the way to the nice. top. Yeah. <laughs> and here, like, yeah, you have to pass, um, obviously from here, to, to go to the, to the next uh, stages. Uh, there's actually like a, oh my god. All right, it's it's enemy, you got something for us. <laughs> I mean, Surprisingly, I, mean, I do. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the that's where you need to put this like scary <laughs> sound. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, uh, we've had a hundred and one dollar uh, donation coming from Jeff, who says, "Congrats, AI, Al, uh, Ali, Al, 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 Al. It's definitely Al. just Al. It's Al, yeah. Um, congrats, Al. Anna and I miss you. Oh, that's my cat. You're uh, talking about that is." Uh, 101 dollars that's gone towards a goosebut shirt as well. So Jeff, enjoy your goosebut shirt. So yeah, uh, in the previous section we saw that there were like uh, Big Boo. Uh, Big Boo is coming from Super Mario 64 at first. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to wait for him to actually go into the lights to actually make him has platform. Uh, you cannot like fly up there because like there's like some cloud stuff that makes you go not 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 being able to go on top. That's the reason why we needed to wait mm -hmm. uh, in order to get uh, this section. Mm -hmm. Got a little uh, labyrinth of doors here. Fortunately, it's the same answer every single time. I'm going to go middle, yeah. three rights, and a left. Yes, it's two, three, 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 and one. Basically, that's how I remember. Mm -hmm. You remember by left, right, and middle? Mm -hmm. it, it's literally yeah, I remember Merle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Scan Me is stuck again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like it's Brit he's British with it. I thought that was a donation and a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this room is a little bit foggy. It's hard to see. If I were to use Joy, you, we, you saw we can fly. We also can whip up a tornado with it, and it could blow away the fog, but I can see it well enough. It's fine. Yeah. Um, and it's ac actually, it's maybe even less foggy in the in the capture on the, of the DS because it's actually real hardware, as you can see. Uh, and the uh, software makes it like mm, even more like like we can see more. <coughs> so in this last section, uh, there's actually like uh, uh, the the pits at the end that can like really be a trouble. Like, yeah, if you just forget it, you just fall down. Because if you if you don't if you get uh, like uh, no vibes at the end of this section and you're in the middle of the jump, you're probably going to to die. And, mm -hmm. and here. The, the section where we can, we're going to skip effectively. Yeah, uh, so nice yeah, I'm yeah. turning this horizontal into oh. huge vertical. Unfortunately, missed that skip. There's one I can get up ahead still, though. Yeah. And you see I'm using a lot of vibe. There's a crystal I know up ahead here, so I'm safe to just keep crying. It's fine. So here, one last. Just, yeah, perfectly done. It, it's just enough high when you gain. Like It's like, like, like your horizontal speed is converted to vertical speed at the same time. So that's the reason why it works like that. Here, the small damage boost to get into the platform and then go up right straight up. Well, I don't think we've mentioned it yet, but there's two more vibes that we haven't used at all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One uh, of them, the rage vibe. Um, so we mentioned when you're happy, you fly. When you get angry, and I'm pretty sure this happens to everyone too, you set yourself on fire. Yeah. That's, that's pretty <laughs> common. Uh, and then there's the, there's the, the calm emotion. Mm -hmm. uh, this one actually heals you 
if as long as you you stay in the in, the, in this state, uh, it actually some something about like uh, half an HP, half a heart each five seconds, something like that. I've never timed it. I just know that if I'm using it during a run, that means I I, I screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <laughs> because you have a lot of. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna drop. Well, yeah. we're just, I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> yeah, All because right, you're so not gonna be able to fly yeah. up mm -hmm. to the to the stick. Yeah. yeah. So all, all, the, all those doors at the bottom, one of them actually takes us to a toad. So in the, we used to have to drop down there, grab the toad, and then fly back up. Uh, now I can just stay along the top and not go down there. But I like showcasing every nook and cranny of this game. So, <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah the, game, the game changed a lot, like, uh, the last year uh, mm -hmm. with a new discovery. Uh, but we're going to explain it, like, around the end of the, of the, of the, of the run because... This, this is a real game breaker, uh, like, glitch. Yeah, for context, the old any percent route was... Uh, 220? Somewhere at 213, 215. You can see our, our estimates just a couple minutes shorter than that, you know. Yeah. So we'll get to see why that happens up ahead. This is the only place you'll ever see a fish and boot taking a nap in the entire game. It matters for the 100% run, because in the 100% run, you have to defeat every enemy at least once to add them to your glossary. So. Yeah. If you miss him, you have to basically go through the entire level a second time just to hit him with your rage vibe. I mean, the, 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 the good thing is that you can just enter a level, kill it, and exit the level. Mm -hmm. It will still count. Yeah. But of yeah. course, that one's at the end of the stage, so yeah, you might so as well hit the goal ring. Nice. <laughs> all right. So I uh, got some booze on the bottom screen here. All I'm doing is taking my stylus and giving him a little, just giving him a few pets. Pet the booze. Yeah, pet the booze. Yeah. Please, the chat. They don't, they, they don't appear to be a fan, but... They I don't, don't like it, but... Yeah, uh, they're, they're, they're shy. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, and the next boss is obviously going to be a boo, as you can expect, and... Oh, spoilers! Oh, oh sorry! <laughs> so this can is already shock again. I, I think I'm gonna shock him a lot up to, oh. in this run. Uh, but yeah, uh, King Boo is going to be our opponent for this one. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, you can see that these small boxes uh, helps you all the way down, like, how to kill the enemy or by the RNG here. No, this... Okay, so King Boo is one of the nastiest bosses for RNG. First hit, one of the four torches is not lit. It could be any of them. Yeah. Unfortunately, it was one of the ones on the right, so that was a bad start. Now two are not going to be lit. Best case scenario, it's going to be two on the right. Worst case, one on the top left is off. Okay, well, I'm already off to a bad start. I think it was both on the left. This is currently... The, be the best RNG of yeah. baddest RNG. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could have been one level worse. But now, so now three of them are going to be unlit. And hopefully, I chose correctly by going to the left first. Yeah. Okay. Nope, that one was on. So I got really bad RNG and then gambled going left, and it did not pay off. Fortunately, the last two hits, all four torches are off, so there is no RNG anymore. But yeah, yeah but, I but mean, now he can he can light off the torches mm -hmm. if he's going too 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 near near the the, the torches. So mm -hmm. that's that could be troublesome. Mm -hmm. But we were taking damage to it. It's, yeah. not, it's not really. Got to be a little Big careful deal. with my health. I just can't get hit one more time, but I should be fine and done. So, yeah, marathon luck as it goes. Just sometimes it'd be like that. Yeah. So maybe we have time for our quick donations. Mm -hmm. Go for it. No donations to read, but just a reminder that it's only $40 for a Goosebut t-shirt or an ESA Winter 2024 t-shirt. So we expect to see more donations, basically. Okay. You know, that we, we, need to we need to get rid of these t-shirts. I, I did get one. Yeah. Or did, did I? I've I got an ESA Winter 2024 t-shirt. Oh, yeah. I don't have a Goosebut one yet. I also heard there's a... Uh, cats we're trying to uh, reach an incentive for? Cats that we're trying to reach an incentive for. Or for um, Bowser's Fury? For Bowser's Fury, yes, we do have an incentive open for Bowser's Fury. Um, it's a $500 incentive, um, and we're at $240. So if you want to save Mama's cats, kittens... Mama Cats Kittens. There's too many S's in there. I apologize. <laughs> if you want to save Mama Cats Kittens, we're going to need another $260. And I that's like non-negotiable. That. So, <laughs> yes. yeah. Always save the cats. So here in this section, uh, we have uh, the like sand uh, fog or mm -hmm. something like that. Sandstorm, yeah. Yeah, it deals damage but, 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 but. each five seconds around that. Um, hopefully that normally you're supposed to use the joy emotion to actually read off the the sand uh, the sandstorm but we don't need it mm -hmm. here small setup here uh, to get on top of the first one and, and then on the second, second one perfectly done all right and the next room is going to be another auto score that i'm going to try to do that skip with the ladder yeah i actually do want to hear the audio for it so when we get to the ladders 
<coughs> yeah, just not know. going to talk uh, mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. We got a little bit of time before we get there, yeah. but yeah. You know. But b b basically, these enemies come from Mario World. Yeah. Take a good look at him, you know. He's one of my favorite enemies up there. He's, he's pretty yeah. cute. He's pretty cute. And we didn't talk about the music of the game, but just enjoy it. This music is one of the bangest ever. Uh, is it correct? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, so here's the ladder we're going to try to set up with. So what makes this one a little more nasty is there are lava pits off screen, and if I touch it, the game's going to realize, oh wait, you were supposed to void out and redo the entire room. Or you oh. can just void no. out on the ladder. Okay. Because uh, one frame or two frame off. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it, this one is actually difficult, but for the showcase, mm. maybe not. Just yeah, I can, I can save it for World 6, yeah. Yeah, there's another one. In, in I'll, 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 I'll just talk about what I would have been doing off screen, and, and we'll save it for World 6. Yeah, I, I mean, for this one, we're going to see what you were going to know by heart. Mm -hmm. Because if you yeah. take any damage, it resets the yeah. damage you took, and then it voids us out, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which makes it even worse. Yeah. Yep, so about here is where it would freeze, and this is the last place you'd see Peach. What I usually try to do is I'll do a big jump like this and land here. Yeah. And then usually I'll, I'll turn on Gloom so I can just tank through these blocks. It's possible to do it without Gloom, but it just feels safer. And I jump over a lava pit there, and I usually jump past the pipe and then slowly come back into it. Yeah. Also, we got a mini game here. This is actually our second one. This is Toad Tote, which is the one I'm probably going to do the most showcasing of. Yeah. We earlier got, I think, Toad Jump. Um, but yeah, each of those mini games has 10 levels. You get the first level during of each one during the any percent run. And then you, and then each time you finish one, you get to do the second one. Yeah, I believe you can buy some in the shops too. Uh, yeah, as well. Okay. Okay. I always forget. This is one of the in my splits for this. I actually have no gloom in all caps to remember to not use gloom because that flat area at the start makes me want to use the gloom to run fast. But with the slope and the way the levels set up after, yeah, it's, it's better to use the slope and just run it first. So, yeah, I almost forgot. I felt my thumb go to the gloom vibe. Like ah, no, 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 that's not right. So here the, we're gonna see one uses of the rage emotions. The first one we saw is like actually to light up torches, mm -hmm. but the second one is actually to uh, crush mm -hmm. literally big blocks. Mm -hmm. Because like emotions are really strong, as you can see, like uh, they can like uh, destroy blocks and stuff. But the rage emotion is like even better than that. It's like Let's you're. Go. you're I have to stop because I'm gonna make everyone run away from the street. <laughs> no, I don't say that. <laughs> Your singing's beautiful. <laughs> I, I trained a lot. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, we're coming ahead. Yeah, like you said, uh, we're gonna use the rage vibe to like stomp on these like grumpy looking folks. It's in a couple levels. This is actually the end of this stage. Yeah. But what I like about that is there's a little hint block. Like a lot of times, the first time you see a puzzle that can be solved by vibe. You can hit one of the yellow blocks nearby it, and Perry will give you a little hint on how to solve it. Yeah. And the description for that is, oh, there's an angry dude up ahead that, you know, he's blocking your path. Maybe you could uh, use your rage to scare him off or something. Yeah, well, scare him yeah, off. Yeah, well, 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 see what happens. I'll show you what scaring off looks like, according <laughs> to Perry, in a little bit here. And you, you, you decide if, it, if it's if scaring it's or, or something else. I don't know. So yeah, in this section, the hard part is actually to just not get into pits that slow us down, like slow us down like a ton. Because you get slope, you get everything, like it could be, try it could be really risky to actually get yeah, hit in the lava as well. Yeah, so what I like to do with these sandstorm rooms that I take damage in, I'll wait till I take my first damage, then I'll turn on my gloom vibe, and then I'll use the sandstorm again to damage me out of it. And so yeah, up ahead here, I'm gonna scare this guy off. Here we go. Dude, run away, you're scared, right? Get scared, oh wait. <laughs> Does that look scared? Is it? Is I, it, I think it looks dead. I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> I, I mean, you looked like a swamp or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess scared him to death. <laughs> I mean, that's not recommended. <laughs> don't do it. Do, don't do it at home. No, no, why do I think I'm way at the end of this world? Whoops! I'm getting ahead of myself. Small, small pink cake candy. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Actually, so I'm looking at my money. I am at past 750 so at any point now so i'll probably do after this stage i can go into the shop and that's when i'm going to buy my um my two vibe tees that are going to come in handy in the later stages because in those later stages i want to use a lot more gloom sometimes um especially actually the boss of this stage having the extra gloom matters 
uh, the boss of World Six, and then there's a couple other stages that it comes in handy as well. Yeah. Oh. But that was that was one of those disintegrating platforms that I I forgot to walk, so it just made me fall into the lava. Instead. I mean, when you're crying, I think you cannot walk. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have to turn it off. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. So it, would, it, it would have been slower to just take it off, mm -hmm. walk, and just, just not take the damage. Mm -hmm. So that block I just picked up, which, as everyone knows, Peach is like the most buff person in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> uh, you can take that platform and set it on a lava geyser, and it would shoot you up like an elevator. But as we'll see, like a lot of the places that you're supposed to platform up, you can use Joy to just break the intended path. There's just those few exceptions, like we saw the big boo that the, de the developers decided, nah, 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 you have to do it our yeah. way. Except there's one place where we're not going to listen to them and kind of fly up anyway in the next world. Also, the thing I like about the game is like when you cross like these enemies from Super Mario World with the gloom emotion, they're, they're starting to be sad. I don't know if you noticed that. They're becoming sad. Oh, yeah. They're crying, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, I know it's a speedrun, but... I'm can't going you, too bad. I don't know. <laughs> can't, can't you look at them? No. <laughs> no. Sag. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're going to go in here, go over a screen, grab the two Vibe Tees. There's tough coffee in the shop as well. That increases our health. We already start with six health. It's honestly pretty, pretty salt. Yeah. But yeah. So I think the max is 10. Does it go up to that? That sounds right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. So yeah, done shopping. I'm out of here. So that's the last time we'll see the shop in the any percent run. So I can get whatever goal ring money I want at this point. And I'm... It'll look cool if we get a peach, but it won't matter. <laughs> Okay, damage boost here. Uh, this stage has another auto scroller, I think, but it, I think it cannot be skipped. Yeah, no, there's only one more that we know how to skip, and technically there's another one in World Eight. But this one is really so is too scary. It's way too huge, and I think like if we even tried to do it, we would need to use a lot of vibe, which we don't have in the run. Yeah. So, yeah. <clears throat> Another uh, sandstorm coming ahead up here, so I'm gonna do that same idea of take whoop, take damage once. Well, I'll take it from the Koopa instead, and let me down. There we go. And this is being rude. Okay, you yeah. know what? Remember how I said I wanted to demonstrate every vibe? That's what I said, right? I'm going to actually get rid of the sandstorm so I don't die, and now I'm gonna heal up a bit. Yeah. And I'm gonna wait for this guy. Is there? I'm gonna play it safe. There we go. See, see, I healed up once. Uh, the uh, the interesting thing is that you have to deactivate the calm animation to actually go into a door or something, because mm -hmm. it won't let you if you have an, uh, an emotion active. Mm -hmm. Although, interestingly, turning off the calm vibe doesn't have the same, like, pause yeah. frames that other vibes do. And oh. I just walked into him. That is rude. Okay. It's fine. It's yeah. fine. Yeah, you couldn't do your, your strat where yeah, you yep. damage. I am... These enemies are being so mean. Kay. I mean, yeah. They're not even using rage vibe. They're just, they're just being... They're just normal. <laughs> yeah, this one is, though. Okay. Get him out of the way. So yeah, basically you can also do combos, uh, combos with the uh, with the shell. Uh, it's actually it could be useful to farm uh, coins at some point in the 100% run, mm -hmm. uh, which is really long, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I you can have go to into collect that. like a lot, a lot, a lot, a mm -hmm. lot of money, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and there's no way to farm money except for s the, the the world six two, I think. Uh, there's a place that we farm money. It's in. Yeah, that's how, uh, yeah. Six, six two or six, six, six two. Yeah, there's a power up that you can unlock that basically turns the um, whacking animation, like the attack with parry. Every time you use that on an enemy, the enemy will be guaranteed to drop a big coin. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, we'll we basically there's a part of the 100% run that I just we just run back and forth and just whack a bunch of Koopas. And for like 20, 25 minutes. Something so. like that. Yeah, it's like a nice little. You're grand too family. slow. So yeah, this is an auto scroller. What do you mean? <laughs> I can't even speed this up. We were just tapping rocks there, similar to the booze, but we don't pet the rocks. We we tap them. We, we tap them, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got ourselves a big wiggler here. Um, the way we're gonna fight this guy, we're gonna flip him upside down. He's gonna get angry as wigglers tend to do, and I'm actually going to do a little damage boost out of this. And we are gonna rely on um, on some RNG here because you see how much vibe I'm using. Wiggler, when uh, when he stomps across the screen, he's gonna drop some boulders. I'm hoping they drop vibe for me, and yeah, they no. they sure didn't. So I gotta adjust a bit. All right. I mean, it's it's fine as long as it's the mm -hmm. second turn you have at least a mm -hmm. big one. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do then to save vibe, I'm gonna just turn it off, and instead of hitting him from below with the rage, I'm just gonna go. Oh my Ooh. gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna do that now. I gotta run to the left here, and flip this over. It looks like you have to get really good timing, but it actually turns out nicely that as long as you hit it before it gets over, it just automatically just works out for you. That is good RNG for the vibe drops. 
I don't like the damage I'm taking though, so I gotta be careful. Yeah, because basically we want to take damage each time you mm -hmm. yeah, get I'm rid gonna, of him. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna play it safe and just do this again. Even though I have plenty of vibe, I don't wanna risk running out of health. It's fine, there so we it's go. first one. Yep, yep. Nice one. Alrighty, so... Uh, because that's part of the RNG too, like if you don't like use the vibe to actually hit, the, hit him, you're gonna have like a lot of RNG, like mm -hmm. one chance uh, out of four to get the, the right spot to hit the boss. Oh, I went too early. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's okay. Yep. Two, two drops. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep, we're good here. Um, so yeah, in the last phase, since we already saw Wiggler get... Usually the phase two of the bosses is when... Is when they sort of activate their vibe as their power-up. But we already saw Wiggler getting angry all the time. So instead of a new vibe, instead Wiggler just sends out some uh, poison, poison cloud that uh, would damage us if we let it stay around too long. So I'm just going to clear it up with some tornadoes. It also lets me break the boulders nice and easy. Yeah. Sometimes we would do damage boost out, but... Now you're going to do it. It was... Probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to stay in the rage yep. animation. Mm -hmm. This time I'll get to do that. Yeah, we're just going to stay underneath. going to take any damage, so it's And fine. done. And that's our halfway point in terms of level count for this yeah, run. Yeah, true. Uh, done with World 4. Which is almost like the um, mid-game, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, the, the some of, yeah, some of the later worlds get longer. Yeah. I can skip that. <laughs> because there's 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 more like auto scrollers, mm. and the best auto scrollers are, are of course in the water, and we are arriving the May Beach, which is the uh, water auto scrollers I was talking about like ten seconds before. <laughs> <laughs> um, this stage is uh, quite a tricky in terms of uh, execution because there's like a ton of way to actually go faster. There's like s this starting from this uh, world. Uh, you're going to have multiple paths to actually go through the end of the level. Mm -hmm. And uh, this one has a spe special trick. Uh, I think it's in 5-3, if, if I'm correct. That sounds right, yeah. Uh, and this one actually saves a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of my favorite little tricks to do. It looks really cool. It, uh, it's one of those spaces where I said the game wants to like block your path and make you do the intended route because it blocks your ability to use joy. So we're not gonna be able to use, well, we're gonna use joy to get up high, but not the last little bit. Instead, I'm gonna do like a really precise looking jump. So yeah, when we get to that, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll call it out. But for now, we're just enjoying, just yeah, and enjoy, enjoying the sun, <laughs> the rays, the vibes. And I love how the music oh, corresponds yeah. to the, to the, to the, That's like. great. Yeah, oh, some Mario Bros. 3 enemies, some nippers here. They're looking a little sad though. Yeah, the Manchurs, I think they're, they're not really Manchurs, Manchurs are black. But yeah, mm -hmm. kind of the same like uh, yep. kind of enemies. Here in the scroller, we can do anything about it. I mean, mm -hmm. we could probably take damage as we're getting off the screen with the spikes, but uh, I wouldn't risk it. Nah, I wouldn't risk it. Or maybe with the oh, with the blocks. That could be something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Write it down. Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, no one to try it. <laughs> I led that to pro runners. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any donation, yep. maybe Skimney. Now's yeah. a great time. Yeah. Go for it. Thank you so much. We've got a fifty dollar donation that's come in from Bro and Crew, Ooh. who says, "Wahoo! Oh. You go, Bro! Oh. Cheering you on from across the pond. You're so cool, Pato." Pato. Uh, that's that what my niece calls me. Oh, that's which, cute. <laughs> which means duck in Spanish. Oh, really? Pato. Pato. <laughs> that's it. Just like that's how she says it. Pato. I, uh, no. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was, no, no. Um, <laughs> we're now <laughs> it's uh, $290 for saving Mama Cat's Kittens in Bowser Fury. And we've also got two uh, targets open for the Final Fantasy IX run coming up after the Sonic run, which is after Milestone Madness, which is after the next run. Um, we've got the Osma boss fight and the Hades boss fight, so keep your donations coming in for those. Yeah. And uh, here we have, we got the the submarine. Yeah. Remember how I said uh, this is a DS game and it's proud of it? I might need to uh, block the uh, my headset a second here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to you have to literally like blow into the microphone and that's how you blow bubbles. It's not just blowing. It's just using all the air that is in your shirt. Ah. <laughs> 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 I love that part. I mean, if you, I, the first time I used it, I was like, how did I did it? How did I did it? And m the more I was speaking, I was like, mm -hmm. it, it actually continues to do it. I was like, <laughs> and then I realized, is it the mic? Mm -hmm. 
And then I said bubble in French. <laughs> Bulle. <laughs> it worked. I was like, okay, it's the mic. <laughs> oh, my God. So here, um, the... Little joy by puzzle solving. It, yeah. it's, you know, when you spin on top of a geyser, it, it pushes it down. Yeah, one, of, one of my favorite pastimes. That's that. <laughs> um, yeah. Seems legit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, there's the usual, like, uh, get into the sand. There's a secret uh, yep. under it. Although the secret is the, the end of the level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a toad, but, you know, we don't got time for toads. So here with the gloom, uh, gl the gloom you can like, gain a lot of high end speed with, uh, with these clouds. <laughs> so why not use it? Why, why not use it? Okay, so... Um, this is the level that's got the fun little yeah. fancy jump coming up here. Yeah, this jump is actually not that... Like, it's tricky. It's tight, I, yeah. I would not say it's really hard, because once you got the timing, it's, like, mm -hmm. pretty easy to get. Yeah. But the fact is, uh, this trick uh, is actually difficult, because you're not going to have that many chances of getting it, because if you fall down, you have to redo the stuff. And mm -hmm. uh, basically, it's because it's way up here... Uh, you have to actually like. Uh, wait. like Oop, nope, nope. Uh, too far. Uh, nope, nope. Uh, nope, wait. So it's really nope, tricky nope. because you have a, nope. only a few space to actually go backwards while Come jumping. On. Come on. Nope. Come on. There yeah, we go. Here we go. Yeah. So the trick of what I'm doing there is you're you have to get the height from a running jump, but you also have to do a little U-turn. So when Peach is sort of skidding to turn around, she maintains running speed and gets that running height. So I'm like running to the right, turning around to skid, and then in while while in the skid is when I actually do the jump and get the running speed for it. So that's the that's the that's the tricky part. Mm -hmm. Like it, I think it avoids. It, 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 does it avoid an auto scroller? Maybe? Uh, it like three or four rooms. I don't think anyone. Yeah. I bet honestly, I've done that trick so many times that I don't even know what's yeah. what's not there. <laughs> the, the funny thing is, is when I started speedrunning the game, um, I didn't knew about this. I, I was just taking the taking the normal path, mm -hmm. like the normal path, and then I, I realized that there's there was a thing. Uh, I think my split just got got down like by a minute and a half. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a crazy time save. So yeah, water water scroller here. I said you're supposed to blow into the mic. Another way is you can kind of just rub your finger over the mic. I don't I honestly don't remember where the mic is on DSs or 3DSs. On my 2DS, it's just nicely on the bottom left corner, so right by my controls. It's not too bad. Yeah. So. Just uh, pick your favorite way to go about it. Scream. But Maybe be aware of who's around you if you scream, though. But this other scroll looks cra looks crazy and difficult. But actually, if you face like the the right of the screen, mm -hmm. you're not gonna get hit by anything. Yep. At the very end, we just stay along the bottom. Yeah. Oh, and if you're wondering what the controls are, I'm just tapping A. It's like uh, swimming in most Mario games. There we go. And one last room. Ah, uh, nope, nope, nope. Not nope. in the fight. Nah, nope. I just need the running jump. It's all about you gotta. Keep your momentum from jumping. There we go. Nice. So now we don't even care if we get uh, if we get like no coins at all. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't matter in a, in 100%. Like uh, you want to get to get as much money as you can yep. every single time. But save a little bit on the farming of money. At yeah, the end for sure. Yeah. And here we just like go and doesn't matter any, any anyway. Mm -hmm. any, any, anyway. Yeah, so do here. Hmm? Yeah. We'll refill here. Fly. This section is quite long for uh, one of the last stages in the in the in the beach. Mm -hmm. Yep, this this is one of the stages that actually has a lot of um, vibe management to be aware of. I'm like being very deliberate when I turn on my vibe, when I turn it off, which enemies I use to absorb. Because if I do it all right, I can use gloom a lot and still go fast and not run out. Like there's going to be three bob bombs up here. I'm going to take one of them, but I don't need the others. There's a refill coming up. Up ahead in the next room, that'll help me as well. And I'm going to take like one really big leap of faith. You don't have to do it that way, but that's sort of the way I learned, and it's worked better than falling down. So, yeah, up ahead here, I'm going to take this block and just go for a big jump. And as long as I make it, boom, land right there. It's a very tight window. Yeah. But I make it work. The waves here are just trying to annoy your path, but mm -hmm. basically nothing too huge in that room. Just like management of platforms and stuff, like uh, oh, usual minor stuff. Yep. All right, and there is a wave that I'm going to go down to down below if I can catch it. There we go. I got in front of that. That's perfect. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, the cycle is like quite like you have you can lose like half a second or something and still be able to get it. Like yeah, you can like 
surf on enemies. Yep, so you saw I was out of vibe. I know I need a lot in the final room, so I stop and grab a couple Goombas there. It's worth worth the pause. So here, just jump, hit, jump, hit, jump, hit, jump, hit. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit of like level awareness. I'm going to get a little more vibe before I use my Gloom. I'm going to absorb this guy, and I know there's vibe right in that block, so I break it. And now we gloom the rest of the way here. Yeah, this room is like really long. Mm -hmm. Like you, you can see that there's like wood stuff, wood, uh, wood bridges and stuff. It's actually puzzles that makes you like if you use the rage animation and the fire up, mm -hmm. like you can like just like pass and they take the coins. But mm -hmm. there's actually like, lo lots of toads that are the are locked into this mechanic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the things I like at the at the end of every stage, Peach just reminds you over and over again. That was easy. That was easy. That was easy. So Peach. yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows. It. I mean, Peach knows what she's doing. She's got this all figured out. And uh, <laughs> it's also that the devs told us, like, the game is easy. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Peach says it, it's really easy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, getting really good at speedrunning it, though, like, honestly, playing it casually, it's not a difficult game, but learning all, like, the more advanced tech and getting really good times, yeah. it gets really tricky. The, the management of slopes is one of the key to be really mm -hmm. good at the game. Mm hmm. Management here, like that. Yep, another another uh, relatively flat room, so an opportunity for us to use Gloom. Yeah. All right. I, I like how the music also like uh, gets into the, the the emotion. Yeah, the music it, gets sad when you use Gloom. Yeah, when you're sad, get angry and uh, energetic mm -hmm. when you're you're mad and stuff. Yeah, the dynamic music is yeah. a really neat feature in this game. I mean, that was used in a lot of games before this one, but. Uh, this one literally mastered it, in my opinion, mm -hmm. of course. Okay, and coming out of this room, there's actually a little shortcut to get to the end of the stage. And one of the nasty things playing this casually, there's a lot of shortcuts to get to the end of stages. And that sounds great, like, ooh, you know, got to go fast, all that. But in doing so, you're missing where toads are. Like, because I'm going to go up into this pipe, you know, it's great for the run and all that, but yeah. back one room from here, which you would normally get to, there's a toad in there, and I'm just abandoning it because I'm going to beat the stage, so. I mean, there's no, like, uh, incentive for save the toads, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, we could probably... Fortunately. Uh, there, there's none for killing them, but there's none for saving yeah. them, so. No, we, we saved one. He's right there. It's fine. I, I, I know, but <laughs> only one or two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, now that we're halfway through the stages, the uh, the mini games before boss fights are going to start recycling. So we got the World 2 one again here. Instead of little thorns, we got um, spears coming out of these walls. No. I'm just spinning to win once again. Yeah, this one is actually like before the end, you don't have to slow down. Mm -hmm, it is full speed ahead until the very until last the very last one. Yeah. It's just off cycle, and it's really rude. And then... um. Sunshine fans out there, we got another familiar boss for you yeah. coming up ahead. I'm, like I'm not going to spoil it this time. Good. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> 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 all right. But yeah, um, unfortunately, unlike Sunshine, we do have to get rid of all four tentacles before we can uh, get the final hit here. But it's not the worst, although sometimes you can't entirely prepare for the way the tentacle is going to attack and you can get grabbed, tossed into the sky, stuff like that. So far... Relatively fast hits, yeah. really nice behavior, and it's just going to be that rinse and repeat four more times, and then it'll be like a little mini phase two when he's down to one health. We've seen bosses use rage vibe like Wiggler. Um, the owl was using joy vibe when we were flying down. Um, we haven't seen calm vibe, and we're going to see Blooper use calm vibe here yeah. to try to heal. The only thing about this boss that could be manipulated is uh, this like... like yeah, you can manipulate this uh, apparition of the of the ink. Mm -hmm. uh, if you stay away, like away from the, from the center, he's going to aim at you. So basically, what I do is like I'm going like at the most far away from his uh, from the center and just wait for him to throw everything and just get under his uh, his like uh, mouth mouth. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I don't know, and just hit it. Sometimes, and sometimes you can get lucky and sometimes don't on this, like... Uh, oh. Yep, and I don't know if you've noticed, um, the the ink that keeps splatting on the ground, I cannot run through it. You still have to walk slowly. If I used Gloom Vibe, I could clean it up. Uh, it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, it's not worth it at all. But yeah, so here's here's where Blooper tries to use Calm Vibe, uh, but we will just quite literally pop his bubble. He doesn't get to heal. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's pretty much Blooper. Uh, one last hit and we're done. Uh... I hear some 
Skinny, you got something for us? I have a $10 donation to read out from Desartes, who says, Who knew that Bowser was a furry? Come on, chat. Save the kittens. And that obviously went towards Save Mama Cat's kittens. And they have. Beautiful. A, I, I see a pretty nice number here. Feel free to make the announcement. We have reached $12,000! <laughs> Thank you so much to everybody for your support. Don't forget, all of your money goes to make a wish. Well, all the money you donate. Mm -hmm. We're not going to just take it out of your wallet, but uh, yeah. Very much appreciated. Um, so, I don't know if you've all noticed, at the end of every boss fight, we see very briefly Peach and Perry hanging out at a campfire. Do you want to talk about what that's about? Uh, that's about the story of Perry, actually. That's the story of uh, how he was human, and then we don't know what's happening yeah. after that. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can try my best to explain it. So, yeah, Perry wakes up on some mysterious hill, mountain, whatever, with an old man that he calls Grandpa, and they become, like, besties and stuff like that, and they hang out. You know, hang around, do stuff on the mountain, you know, mountain things. <laughs> and um, one day out of nowhere, some evil magician dude and his henchmen show up. Oh, here's our last minigame, by the way, Toad Shot. I can try to, I can showcase one of those as well. But uh, they show up and cast a spell on Perry. And that's what turns him into a Paracel. And Perry and Grandpa get separated as the villains basically kidnap Perry. And the villains start going, they just walk away, take him. We don't know what happens to Grandpa. He gets separated. Uh, Perry wiggles free and ends up like just down on the side of the road until a merchant finds him just chilling there and decides, you know what? Someone could want to buy an umbrella. I'll pick it, pick him up and, and, and then sell him or whatever at my shop. So he does that and I take damage. I'm going to take damage here, do a gloom, and I have some... Uh, one more jump right here. Boom. So yeah, takes him to the shop and decides, no, I'm going to sell him to whoever wants him. Toad's worth walks by the shop and just kind of gets gets a read from Perry. He says, oh, this this parasol looks, looks cool. I don't know my Toadsworth voice. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but you know, he gets a feeling from it. It's like, you know what? This looks like a special parasol and decides to purchase it and bring it home. And when Toadsworth brings it home, it's also when Peach comes home from her walk to find the Mushroom Kingdom in chaos from, oh boy. Okay, good. Uh, from Bowser wreaking havoc and kidnapping everyone. And that's when Peach decides to go on her adventure. And Toadsworth says, well, before you go, take, take this umbrella with you or whatever. And that's how Peach and Perry get united. And then each of those dream sequences we see at the end of every stage is getting that backstory of Perry. And at the end of every one of those, Perry's like, you get like little, little bits and pieces of the story as it goes on. And Perry's like, where did I come from? What's going on? Then you get the full story at the, after the last one. And then Perry's like, okay, Grandpa, I'm going to find you. But first, let me hang with Peach. So that happens, so you think, okay, the game's gonna end and Perry's gonna be reunited with Grandpa. Uh, it's been, how many years that this game came out? 2006, so uh, approximately, I, th I would say 18 years. Yeah, Grandpa is still MIA. Yeah. Never to be heard from. Actually, Perry's MIA technically too. Oh, boy. Oh, actually, it's uh, worked. It worked, oh my. I, I, yeah, so I use the Gloom Vibe to make an ice platform so I can slide under these better, just like that. So yeah, unless you count like stickers or trophies in Smash Bros, Perry hasn't been heard from again either. But yeah, so <laughs> no idea what would happen to Grandpa, and it sure didn't seem like no one cares. Yeah, <laughs> Pete, Pete, Pete just kind of moved on. I mean, she's back to her pink parasol after this. Yeah, poor Perry, honestly. I mean, it's sad that I, I didn't have, had the time to make my own suit of Peach, but it would have been like amazing. I would have l really, literally beat Peach. Yeah, you had a. a Getting a Perry parasol with it. Too. Also a Perry parasol. Yeah. That's sad that Perry cannot make it with us, but mm -hmm. fortunate. All Maybe good. next time. All good. All right, so this is the room that has my last chance to do the uh, auto scroller skip. I, I've taken a lot of damage. There's a block I'll be able to heal on. It'll be fine. So the bonsai bills. Uh, okay. The bonsai bills can cause a lot of trouble because I'm going to use this ladder for it, but if a bonsai decides to come by right as I'm going to do the trick, okay, he's high enough. He's not going to cause any problems. Boom. Nope, that was too early. Too early, yeah. So I, I demonstrated the trick correctly once. Once too early. And, and once too late. late. So yeah, basically I would be running all of this off screen. And then I would turn Gloom on here. And I would break through all these blocks. And there's a ladder I'm going to climb up. Yeah. Honestly, this one doesn't save all that much time. But it looks really cool. So I'm glad we got to show off the first one. Unfortunately, the other ones didn't pay off as yeah, well. The first one is one of the best ones to mm -hmm. show off. And the second one is actually... Uh, really difficult mm -hmm. because you have no like you have like visual cues but it's really difficult to actually mm -hmm. know when yeah. to get up 
and the second yeah. the last one you don't have like like the same as the second mm -hmm. no visual cues so it's really difficult the first one is just you climb up the, the ladder and just go up down up down up down until mm -hmm. you got the right frame mm -hmm. that's it yeah there's a nice setup for the first one yeah. so that one we can get consistently every run the other ones i believe it's a four frame window and the interesting thing about it is depending on what frame you get it on at least in the vertical one like you saw peach take dam takes damage when it happens you can take anywhere from one damage to four so actually if you're low on health and you try to do it you could end up just dying oh that's sad <laughs> mm -hmm. what is why i reset instead of just respawning it yeah. I, I think with the setup we hit frame two which means we take two damage so also if instead you climb down the ladder when the void out happens then peach is like perpetually stuck in the plane where you would be voiding out, and you just go ba 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 and die instantly. <laughs> all, all six health just gone. <laughs> so you have to do it climbing up for that one. But you, you see in the in the in the world seven that there is like uh, interesting physics with the blocks as well. Uh, you can clip into blocks into blocks, mm -hmm. yeah. and I don't know how it really works. But basically, facing down, facing the other way of mm -hmm. the of the direction, oh, the, the wall you you're clipping in, breath, etc., etc. Uh, this room, see that. No, yeah. this room is really long. Yeah, it's really long, and there's just so many bullet bills, Koopas. Like, either you go through really fast, or you bump into every single enemy on yeah, the way. Yeah, it's... Well, I, I hate that room. Oh, I, I, this is one of my least favorite rooms. Honestly, overall, I am happy with how that went. Yeah, this one went okay. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. each time I tried to pass it, I, like, passed, like, five minutes on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm too bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, alrighty. Just well, through here. Okay. That's alright, we're just gonna... Stay with it yeah. off. Yeah, you can keep the gloom on and bounce on these fish. Yeah, oh, the, the, the umbrella, the floating umbrella reset if you hit an enemy. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can lose it. Uh, like here, you're just going to press A to cancel the animation. Mm -hmm. uh, if so, you're just going to... It's actually going to make you like see where you need to go. Here, nice use of the bar bomb. Mm -hmm. uh, pick them up, set them down, yeah. get a nice bounce. And then here, I could use the slopes, but they like stop and go back and forth really slow. So I'm just going to tank through the bob like that. Yeah. And then I need to make sure I have enough vibe for this last room because it's another really long one. We got no Starfies this round, unfortunately, so bad luck. Ever There's three stages where a, a Starman can appear. I believe it's a Starfie reference yeah. because the developers of this game also made a Starfie <coughs> game. There's just like a one in, I don't know, five to ten chance that in three different rooms you'll see him there. And actually for the 100% run, you have to leave and re-enter the room over and over again in all three of the rooms he's in. Because you have to damage him once in each of those rooms to add him to the glossary because he counts as an enemy. All right. Oh, this is the level with, I believe, the longest auto scroller, if not second. Definitely the longest the horizontal one. Because right? you know, there's one in World 8 that's really long. Yeah. Too. Oh, yeah. This one is really long. Yeah. yeah. In the water and. Yeah, this uh, is a really long stage overall. I mean, it's not even an auto scroller, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's still really long. Like, here you can just stay on the right. Doesn't really matter. Nice. Nice shooting. Thank you. <laughs> Here, just spam A button. Yep. Like, uh, like that you avoid like getting... Uh, yeah, okay, nice. There we go. Basically, if you miss the cycle, you're going to get hit all the time. But mm -hmm. it actually can save time if you damage boost on the right direction. But yeah. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And another room with some really cool slopes up ahead here. If I can do this right, we can zip zoom through a lot of it. Let's see if I can pull this off. Right there, we're going to take that, get more momentum here, yeah. bounce off of him to keep it, jump as soon as I land, slide, yeah, and I like we'll stop thing. there, yeah. You could actually keep going further, but honestly... It's it's actually really difficult after the... Mm -hmm. The trampoline's the worth trampoline, really tight. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. This is the big auto-scroller. So... Uh, Skenmy, if you got any announcements for us? I've always got announcements. So Love it. So don't forget, we've got uh, Bowser Fury coming up. Um, after this run, make sure you get your donations in um, if you want to get them read out to Xander because uh, you're not going to be with us much longer. That sounds terrible, but uh, oh. Oh. you've got about 30 minutes left on the run, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Thereabouts, uh, yeah. Well, we got the mini game showcase afterwards. We yeah. absolutely do have the mini game showcase. Yeah, well, you're stuck uh, with me a little bit more. Another sorry. Uh, <laughs> incentive that was met there, so that's fantastic work. Let's double check. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. No, no Let's problem. double check. I'm getting all emotional over the cat. Because <laughs> um, we're just going to check how far through we are. We're $200 away from saving the cats. I think they don't like cats. Cruel people yeah. are. We, we will ju we, we'll just not save them. I think cruel is a crocodile, but... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's hard work sitting here sometimes. 
So yeah, this uh, Kuloto Scholar has a, an interesting physics and glitch because the ice uh, is actually like a special mechanic uh, in different like uh, Mario games. If you get into a slide and block into uh, the left side of the of the scrolling, you can actually like kind of I don't know how it works, but like keep the momentum and mm. add it to your actual momentum, and then if you jump, you're just going to jump like. <laughs> Way high up. Uh, Sorry, what was that noise again? Woo! <laughs> like, the, like the wolf, but um, uh, higher. Ah, very good. <laughs> All right, we're out of there. All right. Yeah. Throw score was uh, mm -hmm. really, really long. And here, oh. just gloom uh, all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. And there's one enemy that we only see in one stage in the any percent route up ahead. It's a giant walrus. Yeah, yeah, true. It used to be one of my favorite rooms here. There's a toad up high that, like, there's a trampoline here. But we can instead use the walrus to shoot us up into the sky instead. Yeah, they can they can <laughs> really mess that up. Mess do, that up. Do, let's see if I can do noise. You go pew. Yeah. Is that, is that it? There it is. <laughs> what was that again? What was that noise again? <laughs> pew. pew. Thank you. I was just checking. Okay. Good. <laughs> so uh, here, um, another like uh, tapping uh, rocks. So there's only four different mini games. Uh, they are actually like looping in, ch in each mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. um, so. If we count it well, there is still a swiping ones and mm -hmm. um, jumping jump ones. Yeah, the trampolines, yep. Yeah. Yeah, and these are all touch screen mini games. So, yeah, you see Peach moving back and forth on the top. I'm not doing that. She's just kind of vibing up there. Um, so, I need to tap them and break them before they get to the top. There is a chance that if I miss it, it could still miss Peach and I'm still safe. Yeah. But it's not worth the risk. We just want to get rid of them. I remember when these mini games were played for me in uh, on emulator. Uh, oh, that's yes. when I quit uh, <laughs> trying to speed yeah, the game. <laughs> yeah. So here's small manipulation. Uh, we're yeah. just going to wait for uh, Blizzarus. Yep. Who actually makes a uh, apparition of uh, the oh. icy. Yeah, icicles. Icicles, yeah. So that they can drop like uh, um, yeah. crystal vibes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is another RNG thing where like I'm using a lot of vibe you see to get these hits. Actually, on this next one, I'm going to turn my vibe on and off. It's going to be a little bit slower, but it's going to prevent me from having to wait extra before going into the next phase. Yeah. So still going to get three hits in like this, but I'm going to conserve my vibe. There's still two icicles off to the right, so I'm hoping to get vibe drops from there. All right, nice there's a big one. one. Nice. I'm going to save the other one for a second. I'm going to get my first hit here. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there oh, we go. Yeah, okay, perfect. that's good. Perfect RNG. All right. I mean, it saved the first two RNG we, go. we got. Like, mm. what, what, what oh, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be a little strategic here. Get my first hit, turn it off. Yeah. Get my second hit, turn it off. And there's third and hit. Get, yeah. yeah, you third have hit. to. There we go. Yeah, okay. You, have to stay you can see on. how little I have Barely left. made it. If I ran out before getting that hit, we were going to have to wait for three more icicles to drop down and then hope they have vibe in them. Yeah, the thing is on that bus, you have to wait like for... Like, well, probably 20 frames active where the fire is actually into the boss to actually hit him. Nope. So that's the, the that's the difficult part of it. Uh -huh. uh, and entering the... Uh, Giddy Sky. Yeah. So, so World Giddy. 7, two more worlds left. Yeah. Okay. There's uh, a slightly tight jump here. I'm going to try to go for it. I think I jumped late enough. Nice. Yeah, okay. That, that one is really tricky. Mm-hmm. If not, you have to take the... The, the, the vine, which the honestly, vine. you could just go for the vine out the gate, but I like trying to make that jump. So you're one of the... Oh! On, oh I was about to say you're the uh, yeah, one that take the left. Yeah, I, I go right. right. Yeah, unfortunately, I was trying to bounce off the coop and catch... You saw Peach grab the ladder and someone put butter on... Nope, nope. What? These ladders are slippery. I don't know. I mean, I think you get off before getting on top of it. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. We're, we're just... We're nice. Just, I mean, you're... Going you're, on a world tour. There we go. We're there chilling. We go. We're chilling. <laughs> loving. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I'm going to do a little damage boost here. Make up for that last room. I'm going to... Hit out of vibe and jump up. There we go. Nice. There we go. See, see that made up for everything. It was. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. The risk for our, for our, the, the risk for. Us. It, it was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> Alrighty. And here we're supposed to make platforms appear to go up. You see those dotted lines? Those are platforms that that switch would spawn. Yeah, but yeah, we don't mind. Yeah, we're just gonna go up here. Refill a vibe off of the bottom, and we're cruising. Yeah, this one is free because, like, uh, basically, uh, we are. Uh, yeah, nice one. Mm -hmm. uh, we are just <laughs> getting in the fall, so. You can just hit the enemy. And it, this is so scary. Mm -hmm. Oh my oh, god. Another, another toad that knows how to hide in plain sight. There's yeah. no way around him, so he gets saved. He's one of the lucky ones. And we got a vertical room up ahead here. So I, I needed to eat those Goombas because um, we're supposed to go back and forth and up zip lines and stuff. But instead, once I get here, we go up. 
turn it off, do a jump here, and up again. Let me count how many toads there are in the run. All right, time Normally. for some math. All right, everyone get your calculators. So, five. This will be on the test. Five. Oh, nope. Uh, multiplied by three. Okay. Five so stage. Each, uh, each stage. Mm -hmm. Multiplied by eight. Eight worlds. Yep. Plus eight. Well. Because, like, like plus, sorry, plus. Plus six. six. Plus six. Because um, every worlds one through six have a. Actually, wait, before you do your math, I wanna, I'm, there's a chance I can get a cool trick here. So, these chain yeah. chomps. Um, whatever you have uh, invincibility frames, you usually can walk through enemies. They actually intentionally kept the hitboxes on these guys. If I use this right, you, no, can get, uh, like, you can get like just pushed way off to the right, but just by the nature of the fact that you keep getting pushed by them even when you're in invincibility. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. I kind of want an extra coin. I don't like my coin count right now. Uh, I just noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. See, it, it's 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 yeah, cursed. Yeah. I'm, it's cursed it's right cursed. now. Like, oh no. Where's the, the coin? Is, Where's the coin? The game right is now? responding on itself. Like I'm mm -hmm. sorry for that. Mm -hmm. All good. All right. Carry on with your math. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah. Uh, basically, uh, there's like five, to uh, three toads per uh, per stage. There's five stage per uh, world and one for the bosses. So this means sixteen toads per level multiplied by six uh, plus. Uh, Plus uh, 15 for the two last world. Yep. Because, yeah, we don't save a toad in the last two. Like, yeah. So Mario's at the very end. It's Mario. The, but the, who I, is at I, the I, seventh? I, I, the, the, the game calls him the Green Man. The I, Green Man. I have no idea who he is. Grinch? I, I, it might, maybe. Shrek? Up, uh, um, <laughs> ah, that's, that's surely Shrek. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, yeah, that, that, so that, that means there's one... 26 toads to save, plus uh, the Green Man, uh, yep. which we don't still don't know who it is, mm -hmm. and Mario at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, and we only save like probably four, yep. uh, like four plus six or ten around that. Mm -hmm. Thereabouts, I don't know. So yeah, and, and we need those to actually finish the game in, 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 the, no, in, in the normal way. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh nope, he. I just wanted to get rid of him. Nope, he is. He just goes way out of the way now. Okay, hang on. He just I, don't like you. I think. No, I. I I'm supposed oh, to oh, hit him. He, he's okay, invincible. You know, it, it's fine. It's fine. We're oh my god. And we ignore him. You know what? He, oh. he, he gets. You know what? Yeah, he's having a rough day. But, like, well, well, let's. You know, I feel bad for him. It's. You know. He, he was invincible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this section is actually pretty tight. Uh, there's a lot of pits in uh, in the World Seven and spikes as well. Okay. Here, I'm gonna let my vibe run out. Yeah, because if I was in mid air with that vibe on, you I would died. lose all my speed. So yeah, like the moment your vibe turns off, it's like a wily e. coyote, you know, it, like stops in the air. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Le yeah. We don't want that. <laughs> like a rock <laughs> in the water. Um, seven three. Uh, there's uh, different paths in seven three that you can take. Uh, and the fastest one is not the one you think it would be. Uh, I mean, in these stages, this starts to begin to be like mazes. Mm -hmm. They get they get they get mazier and mazier with every world. And, and wilder, like mm -hmm. it's amazing how. Oh, no, no, it's all right. It's all right. I know that's there. That's uh, yeah. Amazing. There we go. Amazing. Yeah, um, yeah amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Please. I, ah. can, can Took you, me a second. Can you come again? That's amazing. Mm. <laughs> I love it. Yeah? Uh, I, lo I love your, your sense of humor. Thank you. <laughs> this is serious business. We don't do fun. <laughs> if it's serious <laughs> business, then I shouldn't be here. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you right now. I mean, th th this is speech running, man. <laughs> 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 oh, man. All right. So yeah, another auto scroller where we can't do anything yeah. about it. This is actually the, the room after this. I'm gonna have a little bit of um, precise platforming to try to bounce off of a paratrooper to skip the long way around. So hopefully I can get that bounce. And then the room after that, um, there is a puzzle piece that for the longest, I used to think was unskippable. And then I watched the Rudy do his world record run and I realized, oh wait, you can skip it. <laughs> Yeah, that's a really cool thing. Like yeah, uh, yeah, the ahead. game, the the speedrun game, the speedrun like uh, interest of the game came back when I was restarting playing the game and speedrunning it, and I like really saw me running the game. It was like, oh, I want to do it too. I I want to steal world record. <laughs> I want to steal world record. Yeah. So right here, real quick, you can just fly over it. Nice. I didn't know that for years. Yeah. Didn't know that for you. And it brings back interest to the game, and it's so cool to see new strats and stuff. And here you can, like, we'll see if it happens, but you I can flip out. I hope not. Please don't. 
Okay, good. Okay, good. So Ladders are the glitchiest the, but, thing in this game. It's you so saw, like, for one frame that Peach was like, I don't know what to do. And she could have clipped into the into the, into the the block and then... Just pushed herself off to the left. Yeah. And then I would have had to basically climb it, the ladder a second time. It's just three second time loss, but, well, it, how how can it be more annoying than mm -hmm. that? Yep. Um, but, yeah. And here, another well uh, hide and seek toad. Mm -hmm. Yep. He's I think the best one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no way around this guy. <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> Thanks! It was pretty... Uh, yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe get a 7 out of 10 on that. I mean, I'm trying to do imitation like uh, I want to be the new uh, Charles Martinet. Oh. Who is not French, by the way. Even though his name is Charles. <laughs> yes, because it was the Charles. <laughs> 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 oh, <come on. laughs> oh, boy. Okay. <sighs> Actually playing this game. Uh, who out there is excited for Princess Peach Showtime? Okay, a couple. Cool. I heard at least one cheer. Okay, good. good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am super excited for it, so I'm just curious. Thank you. I mean, I, <laughs> cannot, I, I, I didn't react because I cannot be more excited. I'm just the commentator here. Oh, okay, sure. But I, I, I want to see it. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. So here, uh, in this level, uh, you can soft lock. It happened to me once. And it will never happen to me again, <laughs> I wish. Uh, but if you activate like um, the magic beans uh, in this in this specific section, and you're out of the way and get damage at the same freaking time, you soft like the game. The game is like just making growing the bean up to the to the infinite, like to, to the moon, even higher than that, to to whatever planet he wants to, to encounter mm -hmm. and just stuff like the game. It's yeah. just so annoying. It was yeah. so annoying. It was in a real big place and then just, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to call it out. So usually the, the rage vibe sets things on fire. That's the puzzle solving of it. I, I think the hot air balloon is my favorite mechanic that uses a vibe because I think it's so clever that you can make it fly using the, the fire of rage vibe. It's a really neat little thing. So yeah, and another interesting mechanic is that if you are in midair with a slow speed, uh, I think if you try to hit, to use the to, to use parry and hit, you can regain a few few, few mm -hmm. little extra speed. Yep. Uh, in some point, it's useless, but at some in very specific spot, it could be used. Yeah, just re basically regain your max horizontal momentum. Usually, when we're coming out of a pipe in the ceiling, yeah, we'll do that. And we got one more stage before the boss here. Yeah. And the boss is actually uh, from Super Mario World, if I'm correct. Uh, uh, kind of. He's kind a big of? guy. Yeah, it's, you uh, know, it's a it's a it's a known Mario enemy, but big. Yeah. This section I didn't take that in my in my in my runs, but it's it's way faster. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that that's that, that that's when I said it, it got yeah, amazing. Like, yeah. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. How to you're too, you're too good Amazing. to me. Amazing. Amazing. Mm, there it is. There. So <laughs> I'm going to grab this Goomba. Because my vibe matters here. Because I'm about to go for a really high vertical flight in the next room. In a windy room, no less. So in the pipe we go. And then, yeah. So we're going to go up. And then it's going to be a submarine room. And it's going to be an auto-scroller. So nothing nothing too crazy there. So uh, scan me if you got any anything else for us. Uh, Thank you so all much. All yours. We have a $10 donation from Nainai, who says, congratulations on the run. Such an oh. awesome cause. And that obviously went towards saving the kittens. Um, we also have had a $100 donation Woo. coming from Tim and Paul. Uh, with no comment, uh, but they did get themselves a nice ESA winter shirt and also okay. put that towards saving the kittens. $90 left. Thank you all. Can you have that on your conscience? Just for $90 and then we save the kittens. Me? And anybody, I was, I was looking at the camera, really. You? Yes, you. Done it, please. <laughs> <laughs> this enemy is way more scary than me. <laughs> so yeah, this last uh, big other scroll in the water. Oh, yeah, uh, Torpedo Ted's, more Mario World enemies there. Yeah, uh, basically this is... Uh, one of the, the other scroll that there's uh, like a kind of secret path if you go just if you yeah. don't move at the beginning, you're just going to a like secret path. Oh, too high. Yeah, uh, and I didn't knew that before mm -hmm. speedruns. It doesn't save any times. It's an yeah. auto scroller, but it's it's a less zigzaggy path. So we usually prefer to just drop. That yeah. was easy. Beach. 
Uh, and yeah, the um, last uh, the boss is here. Mm -hmm. uh, so the trampoline one. Um, so here, okay. even though the the points are not reaching fully the st the the next trampoline, you're still going to be able to reach it. Uh, in here, two little RNG. Oh, nice, nice. nice. It's not like if I miss that last jump, I have to like do a little wall jump to get up there. So yeah, the boss we got here. It's Kamek. Yep. And I, oh. I was too slow. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Kamek uh, can can like teleport right away, mm -hmm. which can be a little bit tricky. Oh yeah, just make him dizzy, bonk him in the face, rinse and repeat. And then he gets really sad for phase two, and we lose uh, the little cloud platform. So. Oh, whoa, no, no, no. Ooh. It's all right, it's all right. Just get angry from below. It's, yeah. we, got, we got backups, we got backups, that's fine. Yeah, if you miss it, uh, the first five hits, uh, then it's really annoying because uh, he's going to send you enemies. Oh, come on. And the enemies are going to actually have RNG crystals in their hands. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we, it costs like 20 yeah. seconds. Honestly, if you run out of vibe on this fight, it might be worth just resetting the entire thing. All right. Yeah. I'm actually usually I would fly above, but I know I've used up a lot of vibes, so I'm gonna hit from below instead and not fly above. There we go. Yeah. We'll do it. Just I'll, the I'll demonstrate it with the last hit, though. How we would do, how we normally do the hits. Get him dizzy, and then we go up. And then I'm just gonna. You actually use less vibe when you're doing the tornado and descending versus flying up. Yeah. All right. So yeah, here is that one non-toad we save. So I, who I, is it? I, I have no idea. I played this game for I don't know how many You're years. You're too slow. <laughs> That's you're too slow. It's, it's it's the green man. Like the game doesn't know. I I, I don't got time to learn myself. I gotta keep running. You, you know? saved the green man. The, yeah, the green. Yeah, I think I saved him. I, I think he's green. I don't, I don't understand know. Understand it. I, yeah, I know. I don't know. I mean, the green man. I don't know. So strange. I mean, the the developers of the game were just like trying oh, to make late. a funny game, like yeah. not a, like a, a serious game, like. Kind of all the Mario games are, but so that's the reason why they said the Green Man instead of. L no, no, no. I don't. They, they would have said it. No, it's. I don't yeah, know oh yeah, yeah, it's not him. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it's, it's not right. that copyrighted name. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, so we got ourselves a labyrinth of doors here. I'm actually skipping the doors that would typically take us to where the three toads are, and just taking the straight, the straight path. You're too slow. I'm not. I mean, okay. don't listen to them. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and here, uh, vertical uh, flight yep. again. Also, yeah. I didn't mention, but um, at the start of every level, because we we, oh. we bought Vibe Tees, yep. uh, normally uh, we start with half of the, the, the normal uh, amount of, the basic amount of Vibes mm -hmm. at the beginning. But for bosses, for, for bosses fights... You get the full meter. You get full the meter, full yep. meter, which is... One of the reasons why we take them, mm -hmm. basically. Here you can normally in the. You're supposed to rotate this room 90 degrees over and over it, again to it, get through. But it's slow. Yep, we just use our vibe. We just fly. And oh, here, music. Yeah, I don't want it. Really? Nah. Music it's, it's, bangers. I mean, we're hearing music. I don't need to get extra music. Oh, that's true. Yeah. We would be getting that in the 100% run. Um, real quick, as we're in World 8 here, I want to give like at least a little bit of a teaser. We mentioned we're supposed to save the toads. Oh, big, long auto-scroller here. We're supposed to be saving all the toads in order to, um, you know, beat the game. We're going to do a little trick. Uh, next time we get back in the overworld, look in between the levels on the, the, the bottom the, the screen. The small dots, yeah. Yeah, there's like little dots connecting them. And you'll actually see when, as the next world appears, the dots will have like these little skull-looky things pop out of them. Um, after I finish 8-5, I'm going to be looking for one of those in between 8-5 and the boss, and I'm going to be tapping in a very specific place next to it. And for some reason, tapping there... Um, Teleports you. It just decides, you know what? Yeah, yeah that, that, that looks like the last stage of the game. We'll take you there. Yeah. You can do something similar in all the previous worlds, too, after you beat 8-5, and it takes you into like some hybrid of the first stage of the level. It looks like the first stage of the level, but when you pause the game, it thinks you're in like the seventh stage, which is the first one after the boss. Yeah. And it, can, it, it, it and the game can get really glitchy, but there's like nothing to gain from it. <laughs> I don't remember who found it, but... Uh, someone just popped into the yeah. Discord. It might have been Yamo Pack. Do you know that? Uh, it's like, well, no. Uh, yeah, someone just gave it to, There's a thing you guys can do that can save 40 minutes. Just, just You should probably you try should, it. Yeah, probably try to find a way to actually... Yeah. And actually, when Rudy got into the game, he actually mm -hmm. find an incredible... Mm -hmm. Incredible thing because this 
this actually trick is kind of RNG. Mm -hmm. And he found an RNG manip, yeah. which is 100% consistent yep. on the reset of the console. Yep. Yep. So great, great thanks mm -hmm. to Rudy that has found this it's amazing trick. Honestly, been really cool just seeing like a bunch of different people contributing to the routes, yeah. finding tricks, finding optimizations. Um, like the, the trick that I um, that we used to beat the final Bowser fight, I learned doing a bunch of Googling and some random, like, I don't know, help me beat the game post on a random website was saying, I can't hit Bowser the fifth time. When I try to whack him, it doesn't work. And I'm like, you're not supposed to whack Bowser. You used to use a bob -omb. And then I messed around. It's like, oh. Can you whack him? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I just... Honestly, one of the tricks was learned by, like, we figured it out. I, like, we learned it, or I learned it from casual reading players. some, yeah, from a casual person. I don't even know, I don't even know if I can find the website it's on anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to bookmark it once, it's just like a memory, but it's just so bizarre. But yeah, every of the last stages uh, has oh, incredible, uh, incredible tricks and glitches. And basically, without them, the run would have been like, like 40 minutes more than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have a category now called All Toads, which is basically the... Uh, the old any percent. <laughs> yeah, it's old any percent, yeah. yeah. Legacy any percent. No, there's actually mm -hmm. a real like need of like Toads. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, yeah, one of the... Re like, I really love seeing new people try this game out, but as um, Super Player mentioned, the touchscreen... Like, like we, I want to get people to try emulator, but the touchscreen minigames are really tough. Because like imagine taking a mouse and going like in circles. Yeah, that's it's it's so awkward. So um, Ima imagine tapping five times on on something that is moving on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like so your alternative is playing on console, but then like it's really hard to capture it to stream. Fortunately, I do have a capture device myself. Yeah. My original streams, though, I don't know if anyone remembers the um With the camera. Yeah, uh, the the Kid Icarus. Up uprising stand that like, came with a stand. I would have my DS hoisted on that to be stable, and then on top of like a stack of like maybe three or four DS games, and then my camera was on a stack of like seven DS games, and then my arms would wrap like around the camera, <laughs> yeah. and like, and then I would just be playing it like that and pointing a camera. And so I still have some of those runs um, out on a leaderboard. Oh, one other zipline here. Let's go! Uh, but yeah, so. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I would I would encourage, if you ever want to try this game, give it a go. You can try it on emulator. If you have it, like, even don't have a capture device still, like, it's a really fun game. And now that the uh, the the Toad Skip that we're going to showcase at the end, that now that exists and the run is 45 minutes shorter, it's it's way more approachable. Because I knew that, like, being a two-plus-hour run made this intimidating to be able to showcase as well as, you know, have the motivation to run yourself. But yeah. I think it's in a really... Really healthy spot in terms of game length now. The first time I wanted to present the game, it was still two hours and 30 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. But then we discovered this. I was like, oh god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm relieved. What a yeah. relief. We were, re we were really relieved. <laughs> then we learned it was huge RNG and it was stressful again. And then we've made it consistent because of Rudy. And then it was really nice again. Yeah. Uh, here, just be careful uh, yep. about uh, getting a two cycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to match the pose of the statues or else that guy in the back is going to eat me. So if I do this right, which I believe I made it, I'm going to make it in the door. Yeah, so yeah I Basically, like door. one frame, if I was in there one frame longer, he would have sucked me in and reset me to the beginning. That is such a tight movement. It's hard to tell, but when I get it, it feels so good. Nice to showcase. Oh, yeah. I got to show something good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, you did the second. Uh, That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the, the scroller. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, a little, little musical uh, relaxing, relaxing time, time here. Time, yeah. Yeah. I was about to say it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to read some donations. Oh, please do. Screen. Please do. I love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we had a $90 donation coming from an anonymous donor with no comment, but that has saved Mama Cat's Kitten. Woo! Which was incredible work there. So that's $500 raised for the Bowser Fury run. Coming up just after this, and we have one more donation that's coming. It's another $90 from Bard621, who says, I was just messing around. ESA on in the background. Yes, I'm lurking. Um, I look up from my own game, and I'm... That I look up from my own game that I'm playing, and I see the entire group staring at the camera telling me to donate. <laughs> so here you go. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, is there a file? There he is. <laughs> Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your $90. Enjoy. Um, the rest of ESA. I'm going to go get ready for the next run. Good luck with the remainder of this, and we look forward to seeing your showcase at the end as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Sounds we'll good. see you all in a bit. <laughs> thank you again, Skimmy.
Damn. So, yeah. Um, the manipulation is about to... So yeah, you, two you, more you, stages. Yeah, yeah, so you've seen the, the, the small dots and the small, like, uh, skulls. Let's go! Uh, that goes up through the, through the, the, the dots. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's where we are going to click. Yeah. And, uh, I know it's, like, on a... It's on that small little screen on the bottom there, which where Peach is currently staring into your soul from. But, you know. She's eagerly awaiting your donations. Yeah. <laughs> I love uh, how the way that if she's on, on low health, like, uh, it's going to change and stuff. Oh, yeah. Nice. Ooh. There we go. It could be a Disney music. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I could hear that, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Got some breakable blocks. I'm going to hide in down here. If those things grab you, you just kind of lose some time. They're a bit of a pain. Yeah, like five seconds or something. Yep. You just got to, like, mash the buttons in the, in the D-pad. All right. Another one of those uh, rotating rooms that uh, we just don't... That, this one doesn't even need vibe to get around. You just don't ever need to rotate it. It just yeah. is already upright from the beginning. All right, some swinging balls here that I want to avoid, and then I'm going to take damage from something up ahead. That works. Sometimes I'll hit the fireball, hit the swing, swinging ball, whatever. Yeah. All good. And here, uh, we're going to just pass through the entire stage. Here, that's one of the maziest uh, mm -hmm. stages. That's actually really tricky, because if you're going forward in like either path that the game has you go through... Um, you're just gonna loop. You're gonna you're gonna miss a toad because like the, the game forks in two paths. If you go one way, it gets you two toads. If you go another way, it gives you one toad, and you have to like do a little bit of backtracking to make sure you get both of them. Yeah. So, and actually you have there's a very you have to pick like the one path because the other one actually blocks you off. You can't go back in the direction of the toad, so it's really a pain. But yeah. All right. So one more stage left before the final boss. Um, it's probably the longest labyrinth of them all. Yeah. It's going to be an auto-scroller and then one big hub room with four doors in the four corners. Uh, door number one takes you to a toad. Door number two takes you to a toad. Door number three takes you to a toad. Door number four takes you to the ending. Where do you think I'm going? Uh, the, the, the five. The, the, five, the, the fifth <laughs> one? No, there's no fifth one yet. <laughs> I don't yeah. think so. Yeah, so this actually ends up going from being like the longest stage in the old Any% percent run to like one of the shortest in the current one. Yeah. I mean, the shortest one is the sixth one. But oh, yeah, sixth one is like, it's like a minute, a minute. level. It's crazy, yeah. And a minute level plus the, the thing that you're changing from the, the, for the you're changing worlds mm -hmm. as well. So it's like 35 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah, the this is the room. Bottom left, bottom right, and top right are all toad paths. And yeah, they all kind of spit left. you out right here. And yeah, we're just going straight to the top left. And there's like another sort of like trial and error puzzle here yeah. where... Um, like the third one? Uh, I never count. I just know it's the first one after these up here. I just know drop right here. Yeah. Any of the other ones just reset you to the top of the room. So whoop, there we go. And so yeah, after I beat this stage, I'm going to do a quick soft reset and re-enter in order to get the uh, the Toad Skip we're going to do here. And it's going to break us into the final boss. And interestingly, when you beat Bowser, it actually gives you all the Toads in, on your counter. Yeah. So we actually use that. So there's the soft reset. We actually use that in the 100% run, and we get all the Toads that way. So yeah, I'm going to enter, and then Peach moves right automatically. I move her back to the left. And look at the third dot between the stages. I'm actually clicking a little to the left of it on the second dot. And if it all goes well, it did not go well. Did, did I just... It's fine. Yeah, it's it's kind of tricky actually. I don't understand it. There's like yeah. one, only one pixel. I did it ten times in a row before. It's, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. There's only one pixel mm -hmm. where you have to click to actually mm -hmm. get the, the, yeah. the get the glitch. Yeah, it's tapping right. But you'll see that. There, there it is. There we go. There we go. So yeah, we now break into the into the final boss where the game says, "Oh, you need to save all the toads," which I have seen many a casual player get this far. See that message, and then suddenly the stream says the broadcast has ended. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah, yeah. I don't blame him. <laughs> I mean, to have the to have the the manual to know about this is actually something terrible. Mm -hmm. Like, there's actually nothing in the game that tells you, okay, uh, if you don't have all, all the toads, you're not gonna finish the game. Mm -hmm. And this is pretty much what the the game is like the most frustrating about. Mm -hmm. All right, so final boss is actually three bosses back to back. We got a yep. Hammer Bro, and then Small Bowser, and then Big Bowser. Of the three, 
This one can be the biggest pain sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he You'd... moves really fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so usually I'll chase him down with rage or with gloom and then use my sort of AoE of the rage to hit him like this. Yeah, now right. he's going to be stuck and try to mm -hmm. reach us all the time. There we go. And I don't know which way he's running. I hope he got um, to the right. Okay, good. So there's actually a cutscene of him spawning more hammer bros that I skipped because I hit him fast enough. Yeah. So we got that. So phase two here, there's going to be Bowser with with a uh, scepter that we're going to hit him 10 times and that's going to kill him. And this one can be a little tricky too. The final fight that's supposed to be the hardest is the one that has a really nice trick. And I want you all to count to five with me when we get there because it's going to be a really quick boss fight. And can you get time for me on that? Yeah, okay, I can. I can. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're just going to just keep using rage to hit him. So after the first two hits, he's going to go cycle through some vibes. So next, oh, I spot to use my uh, hit there. That's fine. We just got to get two hits while he's in joy. There we go. I can get a quick hit before the next one. There we go. Yeah. Then he's going to go into Gloom here. And we just got to kind of wait a bit. And, but because I got the first hit before he flew away, I only got to hit him one more time. All right. Comes down. And there's the last hit. All right. And you're just going to stay in the rage. Uh, yeah. Animation. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to turn it off because I just don't want to risk running yeah. out. But yeah. And one more hit. Okay. There we go. So the last phases normally you're supposed to hit to like Xander said to use the bombs. Uh, so you have to wait that Bowser is going to stomp the the, the ground with his hands, and then Bob Bombs is going to appear, and then you have to uh, put the throw bomb. him up in his face. But yeah. we're not doing that. We're just gonna go one, two. So a small jump here to set up uh, actually the time, the amount of time you three. Have to wait. Four and time. Just barely over a minute, but that's fine. perfect. It's fine. I mean, you you, you try to showcase and mm. stuff like mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's amazing. Like it's the estimate was pretty tight. Yeah, actually, to be honest, mm -hmm. uh, I'll take it. I'll your take it. your PB is like 130? 131, 130 Yeah. Yep. So yeah, they, they were like not reading too much space for a mistake, but mm -hmm. of course marathon. And explaining stuff. It, it was the it was, it was it was the boo fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, that, that, there, oh, there's the green man one last time. Oh yeah, the green yeah, man. Yeah, look at him. He's so happy. Oh. Yeah. Aww. Congratulations. Poor guy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but for because GGs, everyone. because you actually um, uh, paid for it, the, we're gonna have a showcase. Yeah. So we're gonna do the yeah the the um, mini game showcase. So what I'll do the. Ending here, credits roll, all that. It's, you know, fun. Yeah. We saved the world. Let's go. Um, so real quick, I want to show... I'm going to go into my 100% completed file. I want to show Toad Shot and Toad Jump. You're just too slow! To show how they work. And then we'll do an actual speed run of Toad Tote. Yeah. So real quick, here's Toad Jump. I'll do level six. I don't yeah, know. I, so yeah, um, mic controls on this. It's an auto scroller with Toad Jumping to the right. I'm actually going to cover the mic here. You can explain what we're doing. I, 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 so basically, he's um, blowing into the mic, and the more he blows into the mic, he can like make him float a little bit more. Like uh, basically, he has to avoid all the all the spikes, all the all the enemies, basically. And like this is kind of tricky, actually. Like it's it feels like it's easy, but because of how the mic. He's handled. It's yeah. not too. Easy. Oh, it's finicky. That's why I switched from blowing into the mic to just rubbing with my finger. That works yeah. just as well. So that's toad jump. So like it's it'd be ten auto scrollers. Toad shot. I'll just do level one. It's nice and quick. This is just popping balloons by tapping them. Yeah. Um. Perfect. Okay. So you see the goal for this one's 100. We just got uh, little Goombas, Koopas. There's actually Mario's and Luigi's that can spawn that would cost you. No, points. no, no, not Luigi, Green Man. Oh, oh my gosh, no, who? No, oh, I didn't uh, say it. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so there's a Bowser worth 10. And then the Bob Bombs are not worth anything, but if I tap it when something's near it, you get a bunch of points, boom. Yeah. There's a Mario, oh wait, oh shoot, my bad. Yeah, if you, if you, if you, shoot, a, if you shoot a Mario, you lose uh, points. Uh, yeah. And even if you shoot like, uh, I think uh, Green Man is minus five. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So you have to be careful about yeah. what you, uh, yeah, what you exploding. So yeah, and then once you hit the goal number, yeah, the game just stops. Stop. So that one you could actually do a run out of, but Toad Tote is like a little labyrinth of fire. Just all of the Toad cities, are set ablaze, and we're going to help a toad escape. Uh, so. so, do we reset the timer to actually make a new? Yeah. Do we want to make? Do we want to do a timer for this? 
Yeah, I can. Uh, I, maybe if the um, the tech can uh, probably restart the timer or or something. Uh, to actually if not, it. I'll just go through it. It's fine. Yeah. Well, okay. I, I can just use my phone. So. Okay. All right. There it is. Awesome. Oh yeah. There. All right. So. I, I'll do it for okay. you. Three, two, one, go. So, uh, Toad Toad is actually a mini game where you have to make Toad ex escape from fire. Uh, the city has been blown up by Bowser, and then you have to escape. Uh, by crossing the small lands and stuff. Yep. And this is actually pretty tricky because you mm -hmm. have to actually not like miss input the the, the, yeah. the, the style. The so style. you'll actually yeah. see this and the other mini games, all 10 of them get done in the 100% run. Um, that is way more elaborate in terms of how much we do in it. Oh, geez, don't touch that. Ooh, <laughs> you almost died in here. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I got this. I got this. Also, to notice, if you hit anything in between, you have to redo the all level. Yep. All over again. So I'm, I, I'm playing a little safe here, I'm going to be honest. Ooh, I thought you were going to, to hit the. Ah, we got this. Ah, oh. uh, perfect. So, yeah, we do 30 mini games. There's also puzzles that we solve, kind of like the Banjo Kazooie puzzles, if you're familiar with, or Banjo Tooie, I guess. That was level two. Now we're on to level three. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we have those as well that we do in the 100% run. Uh, maybe that could be a showcase I could do in a future time or something. But yeah, we're just doing the mini games today. Uh, on top of the mini games, the puzzles, uh, every stage, saving all the toads, getting all the collectibles in the main stages. Every boss has to be fought a second time. Every stage has new collectibles, so we have to do every stage twice. Yeah. Plus, every world gets three extra stages that unlock. Yeah, each time you like the first one, uh, you, you you have like the, the the three more stages for the world one, and then when you finish the first world, uh, you have the three stage for the next world, etc. etc. Et so basically, uh, you have to finish all the levels to actually get into the other levels after that. So yep, and then on top of all of that, you have to make sure to defeat every enemy once to add them to yeah. the glossary, and on top of that, you have to farm a bunch of money to buy every single item in the shop, all the power ups. There's all puzzle the pieces in there, all the music. All the mini games, all the puzzles, all the, yeah. And finishes the and finish the puzzles as well. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yep. Because it's not funny if you don't do that. Yep. Oh, also, oh, one thing I did mention: when you beat any percent run, you get a power up called Dashbrella. Ooh, okay. I thought that was yeah, Dashbrella, that yeah. And what that does is it lets you like keep whacking your elbow, whacking like attacking with parry nonstop. It's so like usually when I'm running and hitting the attack button, I'll stop in place. So honestly, for speed running, Dashbrella is great because I get to just keep running nonstop. Yeah, and you could just hit that infinitely and you yep. get rid of every enemy in, mm -hmm. in your way. Yep, and then what's our prize for 100%ing the game? Uh, That's infinite vibes. Yes, and wouldn't that be nice to have during the run? Endless <laughs> vibe, just run the entire time. No no fear of having to, you know, yeah, run out of yeah. vibe or anything. We actually have an ILs category on the leaderboard that we... Um, Use with the... You, you, we have, like, you're allowed to do um, endless vibe ILs of that because that's the only way you can, like, showcase any use of it because... You don't unlock it until you've done 100%, so yeah. it's kind of a the nice prize at the, the end. Yeah, the reward for getting through the all game, because it's actually pretty long to get yeah. the 100% done. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. though, I, I mean, not in spe specific, uh, specifically in speedrun, but it's really long in casual yeah. play. Yeah, what's, I think, five hours is my current uh, PB on that. Yeah, I think you can yeah, download down this time by like an hour. Maybe not an yeah. hour, but it, at least 30 minutes. Yeah, it is a lot a lot of time to stay focused though so so yeah you of course you lose time for like yeah. stupid mistakes and mm -hmm. stuff yeah i learned that uh, august is peach month so i usually do an annual 100 percent run of of the game once a year in august yeah so i will be doing that once again this year once that rolls around but we got plenty of time before then and yeah, we got so uh peach show time to it's only in six it. months so yep exactly <laughs> <laughs> plenty of time to practice right our world seven now this is going Honestly, better than I expected. I shouldn't have said that out loud, but yeah. you know, you know, I, I figured now I can say I did it. Like I jinxed it. If I didn't say that, then it just would look like I'm bad. But now it's I see, there. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. It's I fine. mean, this one you 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 got it risky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Fair. I'm, I'm trying to go fast, you know. Yeah. And my hair's getting in my way. It just keeps falling forward. It's fun. I mean, right. that's, oh, oh, no. that's why I, sh uh, I all the time get haircuts. Oh, uh, it's yeah, that's smart. Oh. Oh, shoot. It was it was the hair. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the money you've spent for this mini game because mm -hmm. uh, the music is actually like pretty pretty intense mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I'm a bit scary. Like yeah. the houses here, I think look like the um, from the Toad City in um. Oh come! On. Yeah, I was have to go on the right side of that. I don't know. Yeah. What I'm from um part 
partners in time, I think, is what they look like to me. Yeah. But yeah, okay, all right. Locking in here, here we go. All right, air. Hey. This could be tricky because the the, the touchpad of the DS, yeah. uh, if he's like yeah. not well calibrated, mm -hmm. uh, could be really troublesome mm -hmm. to actually play around with this. Mm -hmm. uh, mine, when I did the 100%, was actually totally off, uh, mm -hmm. thanks to Link Boss's uh, uh, touchpad screen. <laughs> <laughs> I used his, uh, his capture card to actually do, do it. There we go, that's it seven. It was really right. difficult. Three more to go. Yeah. But thanks to him to have Link do it. Mm -hmm. First. Uh, level 8. Uh, yep. The more you go in levels, the more they're spinning stuff, the more it's tighter to... Oh. Yeah. All right, I'm going to wait. <laughs> I, I can make that, but I, I don't need to chance it. It's fine. thought I'd try once. All right. I mean, the game wants you to try it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, I, I'm, I actually don't know, like... Is there a natural advantage to being left-handed or right-handed on this? I'm not too familiar with all the maps, but definitely gets tricky when I'm on the left side and I can... Actually, when I'm on the right side and my hand's reaching all the way... Oh, oh yeah, you forgot. Or, or no, it, yeah. It's, it's really... Because I'm left-handed. <laughs> it's just demonstrating everything. All right, here we go. All right. Focus in. <laughs> here are you... Are you, are you, are you were... I'm, I don't know if it's a good cycle or not. Yeah, I'm going to wait. Yeah. That's fine. We're just going to go up here. I do like that the timer kind of like moves to the bottom and top of the screen depending on where you are. Okay, I remember that's there now. Yeah. There we go. And there is going to be really, really, really yeah. slow. All good. Here we go. Uh, hopefully you have like an 100 seconds to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Plenty of time. You're going to use, uh, I think, like probably 50 seconds at max. For all there level, we go. Zoom. Yeah. Nice. 39 seconds. Two more. Two more. Oh, wait, why am I redoing this one? Whoops. I don't know. Because Maybe you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to quit. Can you know? All right. For stage nine. nine. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, we're going faster. Yeah, you can pass through the the first section like in one shot. Like in, oh. ta in test, that's what they do. Uh -huh. Like this, this mini game in test is like just insane. Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh yeah, it, it, it even cross like fires, but because of the the speed that it goes, mm -hmm. like, it doesn't count that you you were on that specific like flames or stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just insane. There we go. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, safer to yep. to, to, to to wait here. All right, one yeah. more, one more, one more. Thank you, everyone, for, for, <laughs> Maybe for the support. Than, yeah. Maybe less than uh, 10, 10 minutes. Ooh, ooh. Ah, we can do that. We can do it. I mean, yeah. This one is pretty... Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at, like, you have to go back and forth while also staying within the spinning here. And then you have to zoom up at the end. It's crazy. Yeah, that's... And... Ooh. There we go. There we go. That was... Yeah, that was tricky. But because it's going slower, like that just makes me more nervous. It makes yeah. me shakier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the thing. That's oh, I, no. I didn't see what happened. What? No, really? No, the fire moved. No. Yeah. The map changed on me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's it. Ah. All right, come on. There we go. There we go. Fast and clean. I can actually feel my hand getting shaky after so much time. Yeah, yeah, that's all right, all right. That's tricky. You have to go fast there. I think okay. I think as a left-handed, this one is maybe yeah. more difficult. Yeah. Because you don't have the, you don't know where actually you have to, to hurry up. Mm -hmm. You don't get that touch by the, mm -hmm. the, the bar, the high uh, bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I can go down here. Wait. A oh. Oh come on! A little bit too low. Yeah, I, yeah, that's what happened. All right. It's fun seeing the little poses the toads keep having at the bottom of the restart though. Sometimes they're just waving high. They're eating an apple. Piranha plants attacking him. All right, here we go. I like how, how Perry is scaring you. Use the stylus. Oh, get, yeah, uh, yeah. Go in time and don't get burned. Oh, don't do what? <laughs> don't get burned. Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> I jinxed it. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. It's on me. It's on me. I'm so sorry. It's fine. I think the toad's getting bigger each time. That's what it is. I mean, it's funny. I, I like this mini games. All right. I, I mean, I, I had a lot of trouble finishing them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can feel my hands slipping. I need to just, like, 
hide down here a second and readjust. There we go. All right. There it is. Nice. Okay. All right, we're here again. We're here again. All right, all right. It's not over yet. Yeah. Not over yet. The applause helps. I appreciate it. Okay, okay. We're not going to do anything silly. We're going to take it nice and easy. Step out here for a second. Look at what's going on. Go up. There nice. Go. Okay, okay. We're going to wait here. We're going to wait. Look at this. It's not over yet. There's like two rooms again, like to finish. Okay. Is there any? This one, okay. This one is tricky. Okay, okay. We got to go with it the whole way. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't see it. Okay. Oh, Being so left-handed is cursed. Yeah, that's that's really <sighs> difficult. Okay, okay. I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, thank you. I, I mean, the tech will tell us. Uh, they'll yell at me. One, yeah. Yeah. How much time or how much try we mm -hmm. we have like Sounds before. good. Okay. Before we we'll have to actually finish mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. the mini game. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Backwalk Toad. I like it. I can't even see what Toad's doing. There's a stylus in my way. Oh, jeez. Right in his face. Okay, okay, we're here again. All right, here we go. There we go. A little more. Uh, uh, Let's go! Time! <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, that was intense. That <sighs> ending was crazy. All right. Oh. oh. And that's Super Princess Peach. There's the mini game showcase. Thank you all for letting me showcase i've been dying to put this in a marathon for years and i really appreciate it thank you super player yeah Comment thank you thank you xander to 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 uh to make my dream come true and actually make this game uh be a part of a marathon yeah. uh in europe so yeah. uh that was that was amazing like yeah. the, the time you've done is pretty insane <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> 135 42 i guess uh if, you, if i remember correctly yeah it's amazing I will time take it for, i yeah. think it's third time or fourth mm -hmm. time in the leaderboard yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just want to give one last yeah. shout out to the SPP community. You've been a great space to learn how to make runs. Honestly, speedrunning this game is how I then went into learning about all my other streaming and everything. Like it's, it was the gateway to my social life on the internet. So it means a lot to me, and I'm so glad I got to showcase it. Thank you so much, and thank you, ESA.